Hey, how are you tonight? It's George Strombolopoulos here. Hi there, it's Martin Short, and I am asking for your help. Hi, I'm Eric McCormack. Hi, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg here. Hi, we're Bare Naked Ladies. Hi everyone, it's Natalie Portman, asking you to support Variety. Hi, Tom Cochran here. Hi, I'm Brent Butt. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Jonas, and I'm asking you to please make a donation to Variety, the children's charity. I'm so grateful, you know, to charities like Variety because kids like my son Keon, who is very affected and needs those resources, that extra, you know, um, time and care and support. Oftentimes they can be forgotten in our society. It is um, very emotional for us because people are helping us. They don't know. They are not our relatives, not our so they are just helping the kids because they want to help. Variety has been so amazing to us, so such an impact to us that we just want to share it with the world that they're not alone. Welcome to the 2024 Variety Show of Hearts Telethon, live from the shipyards in the city of North Vancouver. What a tremendous performance by BC Special Olympian Christy Lee. Did you know she is just 13 wow. years old? Amazing to see the potential that can exist in young people when they have just a little support. And that is what we need from you today, support. All afternoon, we will be providing you with a small glimpse into the lives of children with complex health care needs and disabilities. Kids who can thrive, who will thrive with the right assistance. Variety, the children's charity, wants to make sure every child has access to that kind of support by providing grants to children in their critical developmental years that can change their future for the better. Grants for things like counseling sessions to assist with mental wellness, wheelchairs to support mobility so kids can just be kids. Autism assessments to help a child understand who they are and open opportunities for further funding. Tuition grants to open the doors to education. The list is long and so is the need and many families are struggling but you can help and you will hear about all of these things and more this afternoon and you'll be asked to give from your heart and to join the community of generous donors from across BC whose names are scrolling on your screen. The ways to donate are also on your screen and you'll be provided with more information on the programs and services that Variety supports through your donations. But before we get into things, we have a very important message from Sa'aplak Lanakila of the Squamish Nation and the Eagle Song Dancers and City of North Vancouver Mayor Linda Buchanan. OCM, Chukmahat, on behalf of our Squamish Nation, our elders, 
welcoming you here to the territory. Ostlahan, the name of our village here. On behalf of the families that have taken care of the land for so long, asking for the ancestral blessings on our way forward, using a song and a dance that has come from a, a long time ago, designed to clear any negativity, to open the door to our longhouse so that everybody may enter. OCM, Anha Tamakutsi. Thank you to Bob Baker and the Eagle Song Dancers for welcoming us and for that moving performance. My name is Linda Buchanan and I'm the proud to be the Mayor of the City of North Vancouver. I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are gathered on the traditional lands of the Squamish and the tsleil First Nations. These nations remain deeply connected to their lands and waters, and as we celebrate here, it's critical we acknowledge that this has been their home since time immemorial. I thank them for sharing this land with us and for their ongoing partnerships with the city on shared priorities. The city is thrilled to have Global BC and Variety, the children's charity, hold their 58th annual show of hearts, telethon here at the shipyards. This space was designed to bring people together and I cannot think of a better backdrop to showcase the great work Variety does year round for children with diverse needs throughout the province, as well as the many caring and generous people who make this work possible. You can make a life-changing contribution to Variety by calling 310KIDS or by going to online to variety.bc.ca. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor Buchanan. What a great start to this year's show of hearts. I am so happy to be part of the team this year. Here at ice level at the shipyards, I should have brought my skates. Seeing all the happy faces here on the ice really reminds us that today, donors like you at home can bring a smile to a child's face with a simple donation to Variety. And when you give this hour, Townline Homes will be matching your donation up to $100,000. Thank you to Townline and to all of our donors. Okay, we want to get right into the stories because today is all about the kids. Kids like Gianna from Penticton. 
everything was going well with Gianna's development until suddenly it wasn't. Unexpectedly unable to control her fine motor skills, Gianna needed help and her family didn't know where to turn. Thankfully, Variety, the children's charity, was there. Here's Gianna's story. I couldn't tie my shoes. I couldn't get myself dressed. I couldn't cut my own food. Nine-year-old Gianna remembers some of the frightening circumstances that eventually led her to a developmental coordination disorder, or DCD, diagnosis. I was just a normal average child in school. The next day I woke up, I was trying to get myself ready. My shirt got stuck. I couldn't do up the buttons to my shirt. I went to school and I started writing, my hand kept on slipping everywhere, and I didn't know what was happening. What was happening was dyspraxia, a relatively common disorder that affects the body's movement and coordination. And almost overnight, it had begun to rob Gianna of her motor skills, leaving her... Scared and confused. You have to do all of them, okay? Unfortunately, for Gianna and others like her, there is no cure for dyspraxia. It's a chronic condition that can require a lot of physiotherapy to combat. Physiotherapy has been a lifesaver. Um, when we notice a small regression happening, um, we can bump up her physiotherapy so she'll be going daily. The cost of which is substantial. But that's where Variety, the children's charity, has been able to step in and help by providing vital access to physiotherapy for Gianna's family ensuring she gets the treatment she needs. Without this support... We would have had to gone into debt or take out loans to cover the physiotherapy programs that Gianna is taking every week. A nice straight body. Programs that have changed this young girl's life. I can tie a balloon, I can tie my shoes, I can ride a bike. Uh, I can do all this stuff now that I couldn't do before. And because Gianna will continue to need physio sessions as she grows up. Her message to those watching the Variety Show of Hearts telethon is simple. Please donate to Variety. They have helped me out a lot and they can help out other kids too. Because she knows firsthand that every gift matters and can make a difference for a child. Hello, Rick Mercer here, coming to you from a very chilly province on the other side of the country. For over 60 years, Variety has been doing incredible work in BC, helping kids with complex health needs, kids who are desperate for help. But now you can help. Do yourself a favor, do a good deed, and help the good people who help the kids. Call 310-KIDS or visit variety.bc.ca today. That's my ocean. Not mine, but you know what I mean. I am so proud to be back again this year for the Variety Show of Hearts Telethon and happy to introduce one of our co-hosts for the next few hours, it's Madison Tevlin. Well, thank you so much for having me, Howard. The energy is just so incredible. It really is, Madison. We are going to have fun, but we're also going to encourage viewers to help many BC families of children who need our support. Now, why is that so important, Madison? As someone with Down syndrome, I've had to overcome a lot of obstacles. I know that without the support I received growing up, I wouldn't be where I am today. Every child deserves the opportunity to reach their full potential, and every family deserves to see their kids laugh, learn, and grow without the weight of their challenges holding them back. You know, you said that so well, Madison. You're such an inspiration. I know our viewers are going to agree with me. So many of the kids we are meeting here today need that opportunity, right? And they just might need a little extra boost. Maybe it is speech and language sessions to help them talk or orthotics to help them walk. And things that will help them just be kids and give them a promise for a brighter future. And that is why donating now is vital. We can make that difference. Please go to variety.bc.ca or call 310KIDS. Now we're just starting to roll, my friend. Thank you, Howard, and thank you to Variety for the support you offer the kids across BC. Thanks so much, Madison and Howard. Well, there is a deep history of entertainers who support Variety to help families. And they generously use their voice to encourage audiences to give from their hearts. Tom Cochran, 
is one such artist and a household name in Canada. He has been inducted into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame and is a member of the Order of Canada. So many of his songs really are iconic stories of growing up in Canada. Here now with a song that is so fitting for us here today is Tom Cochran with a special arrangement of Dreamer's Dream, accompanied by cellist Suzanne Degner. Now, Tom Cochran, how cool is that? And we have even more Canadiana for you now because once again this year, 
Variety has partnered with renowned Canadian artist and naturalist Robert Bateman to bring you a tremendous incentive to donate, and it's time for the unveiling, Madison. This Robert Bateman original is all about family just like Variety. It is called Northern Reflections, Loon Family, and it features a peaceful scene with a family of loons on a beautiful lake. It's a true work of art, and when you donate $169 or more, you'll be able to receive your very own poster copy of Northern Reflections, The Loon Family. There are so many donors out there who would have collected Batemans over the years. Through this event and this year's poster would be a wonderful addition. And think about it. Not only do you get to help a child in BC who has complex health care needs, but you have the added incentive of receiving this beautiful piece by renowned artist Robert Bateman. So please go online to variety.bc.ca or call 310KIDS and donate. Remember, your donation today will be matched. And for $169 or more, this Bateman can soon be hanging in your home or office. So please, call now. All right, so great to see how Robert Bateman supports Variety year after year. And joining us now to talk about Variety support and how you can support Variety is CEO Andrea Tang. So great to be here, Andrea. Welcome, and uh, what a wonderful day. I'm so happy to be here. This is the first uh, live show of hearts in quite some time, and we're here at the beautiful shipyards in North Vancouver. How has this been here, this new location? Uh, it's been great. You know, it. Um, this is definitely such an incredible and special event, and live shows really give um, a unique and uplifting energy to the production. And so having the families together with our donors and volunteers and, and supporters has really been special in the community, and we're so grateful um, to be here in North Vancouver and for the support of the community. Of course, this is all for the kids. So what are some of the key areas of support that Variety provides kids and families right across our province? So Variety steps in really where healthcare ends. Um, we provide critical and urgent supports to kids with disabilities and complex healthcare needs, um, often when families have nowhere else to turn. Um, by providing life-changing um, supports, including adaptive and mobility equipment, specialized therapies, education support, mental health um, uh, support as well, we're a really able to come alongside um, to support kids and families in need. It's so wonderful to see all the donations already rolling in right from around the province, from Nelson, Penticton, Vancouver Island. How will viewers be able to uh, contribute today? You can donate online at variety.bc.ca. Call 310KIDS, te text KIDS to 45678 uh, for an automatic $25 donation. Donations will be matched and doubled, going twice as far for kids in BC. And is there a specific goal for today's uh, show of hearts? We want to raise $2.5 million um, on this campaign, and we're really asking our community to come together to help us reach another 900 families to transform their lives and to give kids the opportunity to thrive and fulfill their unique potential. Before we let you go, what's your, your message to people watching uh, today? Um, I'd really want to say that everything, every gift, every person, every gift really makes a difference and matters for kids. Um, so many families are struggling right now, and um, we really rely on our supporters and are so grateful for our supporters to be able to really help us transform the lives of kids and give them the supports that, that they need. Well, Dan, I love your red jacket, by the way. Thank you. And the show of hearts telephone. Okay, thank you so much for joining us, Andrea. We are really looking forward to the next four hours with some beautiful Czech presentations. But first, why we'll be hearing from individuals and organizations who are proud to be supporting Variety, just like our first group now. Hi, my name is Brian Cochran, and I'm the business manager of the International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 115. And I'd like to thank Variety, the children's charity, for this opportunity and the honor to speak to you today. We at the Operating Engineers represent over 13,000 members in British Columbia who are working in construction, mining, aviation, trucking, mechanical, and a host of others employed in industrial shops. Supporting Variety is extremely important to our members, so much that we have partnered and supported Variety since 1992. And on behalf of our membership and our executive board, we have donated over $168,000 since then. Today, on behalf of our membership, I'm very proud to present to Variety the children's charity with our donation of $10,000, and I now challenge all other unions to meet or beat this donation to this amazing charity. To everyone else watching, I ask that you call 310KIDS to help Variety continue their brilliant work 
in changing the lives of children with special needs. Thank you and rise above. Hi, I'm Doug Petty. And I'm Scott Allen. Uh, we're uh, representatives of the Burnaby Firefighters Charitable Society. Today we gather not as, just as individuals, but as a community, united by generosity and compassion. As representatives of the Burnaby Firefighters Charitable Society, we stand proud to support the variety show of hearts charity. In the face of adversity, it's our duty to extend a helping hand to those in need. And today, we come together to do just that. Through our collective efforts, we can make a difference in the lives of children and family facing challenges beyond the control. The Variety Show of Hearts charity exemplifies the power of love, kindness, and resilience. It provides vital support and resources to children with special needs, ensuring they have every opportunity to thrive and succeed. So as we enjoy this evening of entertainment and teamwork, let us, together, let us remember the true purpose behind our gathering to uplift, to empower, and to make a meaningful impact of the lives of others. We are proud to present $10,000 to Variety on behalf of Burnaby's firefighters in memory of Marilyn Allen Kadire. Please join us by donating today to this worthy cause. Together, let's continue to spread hope and make dreams come true. Let's ignite the flames of compassion, of generosity that define our communities. Imagine a schoolyard where kids from diverse backgrounds and abilities are empowered to exercise their curiosity and explore, or a classroom where students with unique learning styles can thrive because their educational needs are met. Schools across the province are transforming their spaces to make that possible thanks to Variety BC donors. Variety has stepped in to support public and private schools with the Variety Schools Grant Program, a way to make learning environments more inclusive and accessible for all students. Have a look. Students at Greater Heights Learning Academy in Coquitlam received a new disc swing this year thanks to Variety Schools Grants Program. The Variety Schools Grant Program matches school applications for inclusive and accessible upgrades up to $10,000. The disc swings are great because they can accommodate uh, different kinds of students with different special needs. So it's a really nice adaptive swing because a regular swing wouldn't work for a lot of our students. There's a student who is new to the school this year, um, and in the past when she's had feelings of anxiety, one of her um, tendencies is to leave the school grounds. Um, and for her to have access to the swing outside, she's been able to go and just safely use that, have the break that she needs, and then come back and continue learning. So for her, it's been a fantastic tool. So a lot of the things, the big ticket items that we just wouldn't have access to otherwise, like the swing, um, just wouldn't happen without the support of Variety. Nicole Bairstow in Vernon also received Variety Schools grants this year to have stationary bikes in nearly all of their classrooms. They are available to any student at any time and are both a hit with students and teachers. Because um, I'm always really fidgety and I love to move around, I love to get my legs going. Um, but not a lot of things, that, not a lot of times you can do that except for like recess or something like that. So this is what I tend to use a lot. I've personally seen students really get in the zone as soon as they get on the bike, where they'll be working on something kind of distracted, but as soon as they're on the bike, they get on task and they start working very efficiently. But the stationary bikes weren't the only classroom additions this year, thanks to the Variety Schools grant. It's called a stand-up desk, and it's normally used around the classrooms here. Um, I quite to like to use it a lot after I'm sitting down for a while. I'm fairly active, so my, I don't like sitting for a long time, so I quite enjoy using this desk. So it's like a ripple effect, right, when we have, uh, like you have one desk, but then Variety gives us the, um, the funds for 12 desks. That becomes an impact on the kids in that classroom and the teachers in that classroom. and. Um, just makes learning better for that and then these kids learn better in that environment and then they can go on to do bigger and better things too outside of school. Hi everyone, it's Natalie Portman asking you to support Variety. 
There are children in BC with complex health care needs who cannot wait any longer for the treatments or equipment that they urgently need. Please help kids be kids and donate at variety.bc.ca or call 310 kids. Thank you. It's so great to have important message from celebrities from around the globe coming together to support Variety BC. Now one of Variety's key pillars of support is private assessments. Now these assessments give families access to other levels of support and funding and are critical for early development. Some of you may recall Caitlin who was featured on Variety Week in 2022. She's a wonderful girl who was helped by Variety with a private autism assessment. Autism is a neurological and development disorder that affects the way one's mind thinks, interprets the world, learns. 12-year-old Caitlin was diagnosed with autism earlier this year. For years, her parents struggled to get practitioners to listen to them. Because in addition to having autism, Caitlin has a gifted designation. The family reached out to Variety to fund a private autism assessment for Caitlin. Thankfully, she would not have to wait two more years within the public system for the diagnosis she needed. Because Caitlin now has an autism designation, uh, it's going to be much easier for us to find uh, therapies that will help her, um, both uh, for her mental health. It also will allows us to get her into um, play groups to help her learn how to uh, interact with her peers and with other people and get those really um, difficult to understand social cues that are sometimes easy for us to get but not so easy for her to understand. And join and joining us now, back by popular demand, is Caitlin Lai. Thanks for joining us again this year, Caitlin. It's great to be back again, supporting Variety and helping kids across BC. Well, you're an inspiration, my friend. And by just being here and speaking with us, you will be helping kids realize that, you know, they can do anything. Thank you, Howard. And you're right. Just because a kid has autism or a learning disability or any kind of disability, it doesn't mean they can't do what other kids can do. They just might need a little bit of extra support. And donating to Variety can help provide that extra support. Now you have an autism diagnosis. What have you learned about your condition or yourself in the past year, Caitlin? I've learned that many people still don't quite understand what autism is and how it impacts autistics. Autism is truly a spectrum. Every autistic individual is unique in their challenges and how they interact with the world. And they all require different supports. Getting a proper diagnosis is a huge step for autistic individuals to receive the supports that they need. Well, thank you so much for sharing a bit of your story with us, Caitlin. And to our viewers, just look at the impact your donations have had on Caitlin right here. And imagine all of the other kids out there who need similar support that you can impact right now by please picking up the phone to donate. So please. Go to variety.bc.ca and donate now. Your gift will be matched. Or you can call 310 Kids. Every donation matters. Thank you, British Columbia. Awesome. A okay. key pop band from Ontario and is known for their sometimes quirky music videos of covers and originals, right, Madison? Yeah, and the band's live cover of Goatee, somebody that I used to know on YouTube, gathered over 100. 75 million views in just four months and earned them a spot on Ellen. We are so lucky they are lending their talents to us today, performing all the way from Costa Rica. Here is 2016 Juno Award winning group of the year, Walk Off the Earth, with their brand new song, On the Road. What's going on, y'all? We are Walk Off the Earth. As a mom, I know what it's like to want the very best for your kids. And knowing that there's a charity like Variety that wants to help every single child reach their unique potential, well, that's a charity we want to support. Yeah, so we are asking you to support Variety as well. Please call 310 Kids and give to Variety so children can get the access to specialized therapies and equipment they need to thrive. Our very first song is a brand new song, and it's called On the Road. And it goes like this. I might not make 
get out of bed today But that doesn't mean that I won't try I might not say the things I need to say But that doesn't mean I have to lie Cause I've been climbing up these mountains for life you down I'll do my best to keep feet on the ground if I stumble know that I'll come back around the thought of you will carry me down cause I've been climbing up these mountains one by one and know we shouldn't leave a trail of crumbs I'll break the storm until I see the sun and look to you and I don't feel so strong I don't need fixing, cause I ain't broken I don't need saving, just someone to hold Cause I've been fighting for both of us I'm not home yet, but I'm on the road I'm coming home, I'm coming home I'm not there yet Well, that was beautiful. Their voices, everything, so talented. World-class music, yeah. for sure. I know one of the keys to a child's future is their education. A quality education makes a huge impact on a child's development. But sometimes kids need additional support outside of the public system to meet their unique needs. And that's why Variety provides grants to families for tuition and for tutoring. And why Windsor Plywood is a generous supporter of this key Variety Pillar. John Davies here on behalf of Windsor Plywood and the Windsor Plywood Foundation. While we've been a longtime supporter of Variety Children's Charities, it's once again our privilege to be able to support the education pillar for Variety's funding for the fifth year in a row. Education remains one of our core values, and we're thrilled that our pledge will help provide tuition, tutoring, and bursary grants to kids and youth with special needs across the province. As a father of school-aged children, I know that these past few years have been especially hard for everyone, and educational resources have been stretched thin. Your generous donation to 310 Kids, that's 310-5437, will help ensure that children with special needs right here in BC are given the special and individualized support that they need to thrive in school. Windsor Plywood would like to thank you for your support of this and all five key pillars of Variety's funding. Thank you. Thank you. As you just heard, Variety is committed to supporting kids with tutoring and tuition assistance when the public system lacks the support they need. Equal education in British Columbia is a right, regardless of whether you are typical, disabled, or neurodivergent. In fact, the special education policy statement declares all students with special needs should have equitable access to learning opportunities for achievement. But with classroom resources currently spread so thin, providing complete support for a nonverbal child with autism can be formidable for the educators, and the results can be devastating for families. What I saw was just so like traumatizing for me. My five-year-old at the time, like he was, he's been here for six months, and that was just one day I got to witness. That one day was an observation session for Keon during kindergarten at public school. And what his mother saw was a young boy who was excluded from classroom activities and who only had about five minutes of true instructional time in the entire day. They just don't have the tools. They don't know what to do. 
you know like I do think they're doing their best I don't think obviously they're there because they want to help kids but I just think they don't have what is needed for kids like Keon but there had to be a better solution for Keon a better place where his unique needs could be met Pal's autism school turned out to be that place tailoring education specifically for children with autism. Pal's low student teacher ratios is an environment designed to support children with varying levels of ability. Touch apple. Apple. Good work, Keon, that was so awesome. Yeah, a lot of our students need that extra little boost for some of that functional communication to develop, some of those social skills or academic skills. A lot of our students have sensory needs as well, so being able to provide them with the space uh, to really meet those sensory needs is really important. Keon, clap hands. Amazing. Keon had found his place where he could be safe, thrive at his own pace and feel included, where his neurodivergent conditions could be embraced instead of overlooked. But this type of private education is costly and without the support of variety, Keon may still be lost in the public school system. So um, the progress I've seen, you know, with Keon while he's been at PALS, um, honestly has been a lot. He just has more tools in his own toolkit uh, to be able to have a higher quality of life and have a bit more dignity because he's learning a bit more independence. Yeah, it's crunchy, right? Crunchy. The effects that variety has had on not only Keon's life, but you know my life, his siblings' life as a family has been immense. I am, I am a single mom of, of, of three boys, right? And they're all on the spectrum, different areas in the spectrum. There's always one challenge after another, right? It never stops. And so for me and for my kids, you know, Variety is like a lifeline. You can help Variety be a lifeline to so many families out there like Keon's who need support to find a better future. So please donate now to Variety. And we are honored to have Keon's mother, Nassim, joining us. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, well, thank you for having me. And, you know, it was great to see that Keon is uh, finding a home at PALS. How has he been doing there? I mean, he's been doing amazing. I mean, that, that school is just beyond words. I can't describe how uh, just helpful, nurturing, and um, safe they make us feel like a second home. Um, so we're just so fortunate. I, I feel grateful every day. <laughs> I can't imagine, yeah. And I know that, you know, as we heard in the story, um, that all of your sons are on this spectrum. That must be incredibly challenging, especially as a single mother. How do you juggle everything? It is. It is quite challenging. And as I mentioned, I think, <laughs> in the video there, um, it is just one thing after another, right? Um, and so it's always just trying to get ahead of it and um, just at the same time trying to be in the present moment and taking it one uh, one moment at a time, one challenge at a time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, you always have to think ahead, right? So what what do you feel will be the type of support that Keon will need next as he goes forward? Yeah, I mean, that is the question always, um, especially, you know, as a mom on my mind with all my kids, but um, specifically with Keon, since he is, you know, um, the, the most kind of affected on the spectrum, um, it, it's basically trying to keep him at PALS, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, uh, and therefore trying to always get the funds in place for that, um, but also getting him ready for what happens after PALS and, and into adulthood. Uh, since he is, as I mentioned, so affected, um, you know, he's always going to be, uh, be needing assistance and, and to kind of... Um, live either with myself or you know mm -hmm. uh, yeah so now I know this is something you don't really want to think about but but what do you think may have happened to to Keon or his situation might have been if you didn't get the support that you got from Variety yeah I mean honestly I try not to think about that um, just because as I mentioned I am so grateful that he is at PALS but really I, I, we may not have been able to continue on at PALS um, because that assistance and that help um, is just so immense. It helps so much, right? 
Um, and whether it's with you know a month, two months, three months of tuition, but whatever it is, uh, it is just I, I can't picture us doing it without Variety's help. What yeah. are your hopes and dreams for for all of your sons? Yeah, well, you know what? Just like any parent, whether you have kids on the spectrum or with special needs or not, every parent, including myself, I just want all my three boys um, to have, you know, the chance um, to reach their own potential, mm -hmm. right? Um, and therefore, you know, can kind of have a higher quality of life, as I mentioned, and, and live with some sense of dignity uh, wherever they're at in their abilities or lack thereof. That's incredible. Yeah. They're so lucky to have you as their mother. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you know, Nassim, we recognize that as a single mom with three boys on the spectrum, sometimes you just need a little time for yourself. And that can be hard to come by. So our wonderful, wonderful friends at the Pacific Autism Family Network are providing you with a very special evening just for you. Joining us now is Kristen Martin from the Pacific Autism Family Network to tell you about this great surprise. Oh Hi, Nazim. We at Pacific Autism Family Network are so excited to be able to present you with a one night stay in a penthouse suite, oh a breakfast God. and dinner and parking and everything included at Century Plaza Hotel and Sea Prime Restaurant. Wow, thank you. That's so unexpected. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Wow. I'm so grateful and uh, just taken aback. <laughs> so, and I like to be prepared, but mm -hmm. um, this is such a great surprise. So I really, like, God bless you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. You're very welcome. We're so happy to be able to present you with that and just give you a little bit of rest and a night just to yourself and just for you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I don't really think about myself. I don't put myself on the list. So that's really, uh, that's just, yeah, I, I don't have words for it. So thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you so much for Pacific Autism. Um, yeah. And thank you to Friday. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Well, uh, you know what? It's just uh, incredible that you are going to get a little pampering for yourself. I know we were just joking about how much you need a vacation right now. So you'll get a little mini vacation. Uh, Nassim, thank you so much for all the incredible support that you give to your children. Thank you, Sonia. Thank all you. right. And uh, a it's been a very special day here for the Pacific Autism Family Network. So big thank you for helping to create this day for Nassim. Now let's uh, head down to Howard and Madison. Thanks so much, and to everyone that made that possible. When you make a donation to Variety, your gift will have an incredible ripple effect throughout the community. And when you support something like a Variety Sunshine Coach, that impact can reach so many other children. Community organizations throughout BC use these coaches to attend special classes, to go on outdoor excursions, and in some circumstances, just to get to see their parents. These are things kids might not get to experience if it weren't for the Sunshine Coach. So the next time you see one of these vehicles, imagine the joy and excitement that these kids are feeling thanks to you, British Columbia. Now imagine if they didn't have this opportunity. That's why your donation today is so important. For $1,047, you can help fund the Sunshine Coach and your name or the name of a loved one will be printed on the side of the vehicle. So go online to variety.bc.ca or call 310kids now and donate to Variety. And remember, with Townline Homes matching donation, your $1,047 donation turns into $2,094. So please pick up the phone and call now. Hi, I'm Keith Evans, and my family and I own GS and Company in South Surrey. And we're very proud to have been the official framer for Variety, the children's charity, for the last 12 years. As you know, with donations of $169 or more, or monthly donations, you will receive from Variety, the children's charity, a limited poster, Robert Bateman, Northern Reflections, Loon Family. And as the official framer of Variety, the children's charity, we donate back a portion of the proceeds of all framing jobs that are received. This year, we are proud to pre present a check for $4,300, bringing our total commitment over the past 12 years to over $75,000. Thank you, Variety. Thank you, the Bateman Foundation. 
and thank you, the donors, who make all this possible. Hi, I'm Erica Zarkovich from Life Labs. And I'm Thomas Marshall from Life Labs. And this is Baby Thomas. For more than 20 years, Life Labs has been proud to support Variety, the children's charity. The services provided by Variety are vital to supporting families with, with children with special needs. That's why we're proud to share that on behalf of everyone at Life Labs, we are continuing our support by donating $5,000. Please join us and consider donating today. On behalf of everyone at Life Labs, thank you for helping BC's kids. Hi, I'm Jim Hickaway, General Manager of the beautiful Tynamara Seaside Spa Resort in Parksville on Vancouver Island. We've been supporting Variety for more than 20 years now. And as one of the largest employers in our region, supporting our local community is built right into our team culture. As a family-friendly destination resort, we find Variety the Children's Charity is a perfect fit to be one of our major charity partners, so kids with special needs can succeed and thrive despite some of the challenges they face. I'd like to thank Variety for the important work they do. On behalf of our team, I'm proud to announce we've raised $5,000 for Variety this year. Please call 310 Kids now to help Variety change the life of a child with special needs. Thank you. So how great it is that Walk Off the Earth has been able to join us all the way from Costa Rica. So they really can pull off that tropical vibe quite well, can't they? And they have put together another song for us, this time with an extra special ensemble cast, because today is all about the kids. Please welcome back, all the way from Costa Rica, Walk Off the Earth with their song, Catching Feelings. We're going to play our new song for you, Catching Feelings, but before we do so, we want to encourage you to go to variety.bc.ca and make a donation to Variety. Your donations will create an incredible ripple effect of positive change for kids, their families, and the communities they live in. So please, if you're able, call 310 Kids Now, and then let us know. Are you catching feelings too? Up at night, wondering why do I try so hard? I hate this part. In my mind, run a million miles an hour. I just can't seem to stop. Told myself I'd be playing it cool, keeping one foot in, one foot out the door. Every day, every moment apart, only makes me want you more. So let's keep it light, the time it ain't right. I heard you still text, you're on and off X. I know you know that I do the same thing too. And we said, let's keep it light when we spend the night. See how it goes, if nobody knows. Then down the road.
One of the great parts of the show of Hearts is being able to see the impact your donations have on the lives of children right across BC. You won't see exactly where that donation goes today, but Variety knows where it's needed most. Your dollars could support families who will receive help for the very first time or to families who have received support year after year. One of the families that's received continuous support from Variety is Grant, whom we first met in 2020. He's been gifted speech and language therapy and a chance to find his voice. What's your name? My name is Grant. It may be just an iPad, but for Grant Weaver, this is his voice. What do you like to do sometimes? I love to go for car rides. With the touch of a button, the five-year-old can communicate effectively. His wants, his needs, even his emotions. I feel, I feel happy. There you go. But actually speaking the words is a challenge. Grant suffered from a brain, brain injury at seven months of age. And um, since that time, it's been kind of a long road. In 2015, rescuers found Grant and his mother floating in the Puntledge River. Her vehicle parked nearby. She drowned, Grant survived. But the lack of oxygen to his brain has largely impaired his speech and language development. Do you want to play caribou first? Grant basically at this point has made a lot of progress in the last six months. Almost did. Nice asking, Grant. And his understanding of speech and language is much greater than his ability to use expressive language. But through these sessions, funded by Variety, the children's charity, that's beginning to change. Three, two, two one. Two. Whoa, there it goes. Fast forward four years, and Grant is starting to find his voice. Where's Mufasa? Yeah. One more time. Octopus. Good job. Your continuous donations to Variety, the children's charity, have meant that Grant has been able to maintain his regular speech and language sessions. Sessions that are crucial for his development. Every time I see Grant, he has way more to say. He's more engaged with what we're working on, and he really has a desire to communicate and learn. And he's thriving in that social environment at school and really enjoying spending time with his peers. I have a new bike. You have a new bike? Yeah, so for Grant, like I said, he'll need to continue having speech therapy for the foreseeable future in order to work on these things, and it's beneficial, and this funding really helps with that so that he's able to do that. In 2023, Variety provided grants for over 400 children so that they could attend speech and language therapy sessions. These sessions, which help a child communicate, can be up to $180 an hour. There is limited government support, and families may end up being out of pocket for these expenses if they do not have coverage. Variety wants to ensure every child has a voice. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Jonas and I'm asking you to please make a donation to Variety, the children's charity. When you donate, your money stays in BC and creates an incredible ripple effect. Speech and language sessions, for example, can help a child communicate with their family and increase their confidence. It will help them with their friends, in school, and in their community. Think of the impact your dollars can have. Create a ripple effect right now by calling 310-KIDS or by going online to variety.bc.ca to donate. Thank you. And here we are. What an incredible first hour it's been down here at the shipyards at the city of North Vancouver. The time, Jason, really is just flying by. Yeah, fast as 60 minutes around. So much <laughs> great entertainment and powerful stories about how your donations are helping kids across BC right now. Don't forget that your dollars are being doubled right now thanks to the support of Townline Homes. And now we are going to give you a look at our very first total of the day and see how many more tuition grants our physiotherapy sessions variety may be able to provide. All right, let's take a look here. So thanks to your donations throughout the Show of Hearts campaign, we have raised more than $1 million, which can help roughly 412 BC kids and their families. What an unbelievable start to the day. It could not have been possible without the generous matching donation from Townline Homes. Incredible.
And we have so many more kids across BC that uh, have hope now for the future. And the day has only just begun. So please, please do your part by adding your name to the list of donors on your screen right now. There are many ways to donate. You can go to variety.bc.ca or you can call 310-KIDS now. Thanks to everyone for your support. Hi, I'm Jaden. Please call 310-KIDS and help change the lives of kids just like me. Too, it's becoming apparent how much support is required for kids with complex health care needs in this province. And especially now when the cost of living has increased so much, families should not have to decide between specialized therapy for their child or putting food on the table. But that is the sad reality and the reason that we need you to give today. In the next hour, you're going to learn more of these families and their remarkable children. Children like Grace, born with Down syndrome. Grace will require support throughout her life, whether it is to walk or to talk or even just to learn to play. This hour, we'll also have a performance by the brother and sister duo, the Rec Laws. They'll bring their unique brand of country music to our show of heart stage. And we will be getting reacquainted with Scarlett. Show of Hearts viewers met Scarlett back in 2020 when Variety provided a grant for an adaptive trike used to help Scarlett with symptoms of a rare genetic disease. And this hour, your donations are going to be matched up to $75,000 by a Variety supporter who wishes to remain anonymous. So thank you so much for that tremendous opportunity. Now let's send it over to Colleen and Caitlin. Ladies. Thanks, you guys. This is going to be such a tremendous hour, and I am so happy that you're staying with us, Caitlin. Thanks, Colleen. It's so great to be down here at ice level, here at the shipyards, and to see everyone, including all of the kids, having a great time. They really are, and one of the messages today is that we want all kids with complex health care needs to be able to enjoy each and every day. That's why we want you to consider signing up for Monthly Giving. Absolutely, Variety's Monthly Giving program ensures that kids get the support they need throughout the year because kids need support beyond today. They need it all year long. So please, donate now by going to variety.bc.ca and sign up for Monthly Giving. Now let's send it over to Howard and Madison. Thank you, ladies. Uh, it's great to have you here. Variety really does make such a difference in the lives of children across BC. And when you support Variety, you're really impacting so many more kids. That's right, Madison. You're supporting a family in a community that donations, that the donation you make today will extend across the entire province. Kids need to have a chance at a better future, a chance to succeed. Without support, I would not be here today in front of these cameras. You can be that kind of support for a child with complex health care needs. And that support has to begin right now. It has to begin with you, British Columbia. So please, donate at variety.bc.ca or pick up the phone and call 310-KIDS from anywhere in the province. Or you can text the word KIDS to 45678 for an immediate $25 donation. Hey, text once, text twice, text three times. Each text, each donation makes a powerful difference. And remember, your donations are being matched. So a $25 donation is 50 and so on and so on. Howard, you and I are here supporting Variety. And there are so many artists who come together during the show of hearts to support Variety families. Yes, the history of Variety has always included entertainers lending their voices for kids with complex health care needs. So with that in mind, here's a special message from Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Hi, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg here. A lot of our memories growing up in Vancouver are pretty hazy, but one thing we remember is the Variety Sunshine Coaches. They help community organizations in BC provide safe and adaptive transportation for kids so they can get to crucial appointments. Like uh, going on outings to places like parks or I don't know, maybe the local cinema mm -hmm. to support uh, homegrown filmmakers, theatrical releases. Mm -hmm. Of course, and though you should support us, for sure, it's far, far more important you support Variety Sunshine. And if you donate the very specific amount of $1,047, you get your name printed on the side of one of their vans. All you got to do is go to variety.bc.ca or call 310KIDS and please donate now. 
now. <laughs> <laughs> now. Oh, Thank that. you, gentlemen. Early intervention in kids with complex health needs is vital so they can access the resources they need to reach their unique potential. And those resources are unlocked when a child receives an assessment, whether it's for an autism assessment or a psychoeducational assessment. It means that kids don't have to wait years for an assessment through the public system. And that's why private assessments are a key pillar of variety support and why the Espiritu Foundation, the family foundation of David and Wendy Elliott, is supporting those assessments with a donation of $25,000. Amazing. Thank you so much for your support. Keenan is one of those kids who benefited from an autism assessment. When he began missing his milestones, his mother suspected autism spectrum disorder and set out to find help for him. She couldn't afford the cost of a private assessment, but also knew that he couldn't wait two to three years for a public government assessment to get him the help that he needed. Luckily, she discovered Variety just in time to receive a grant for Keenan's private autism assessment, unlocking the supports he needs to develop and thrive. I was so sad. I was crying, and then I'm, I don't know how to say it. I, I just feeling like it's very, very heartbreaking. <laughs> Born to newly immigrated parents in 2020, Keenan started to miss his milestones around six months of age. When he was two, his mother took him to a pediatrician looking for answers. My son is almost two years, but he don't say any word. Even banana, no, even he just only can say mama. The pediatrician recommended Keenan have an autism assessment, but on a single income, the family couldn't afford to pay for the expensive private assessment, nor could they wait years before receiving one through the public system. Without knowing how she was going to pay for it, Keenan's mom made an appointment with a psychologist to have her son assessed. Yeah, I don't know how to pay without their help. Even private assessment also is very expen expensive. It wasn't until a week before Keenan's appointment that his mom discovered Variety, the children's charity, offered grants to cover the cost of an assessment. Keenan's mom applied for the grant and he was able to receive his assessment, opening the doors to the vital support needed to develop and thrive. Kidan's so lucky. He had the um, help from Variety that was so amazing for, for us, for me. And I can have the private assessment without waiting for three years. Your donations to Variety will ensure when families like Keenan's have nowhere else to turn, Variety will be there to support them. And by providing early intervention, which is so crucial for young children, Variety can offer parents hope for the future. I hope he can um, start to talk, start to um, understand what is around him and he can communicate with around, with the friends, with other, with the like normally people. And yeah, I'm so grateful. They're very amazing for me. There are a few more iconic Canadian scenes than kids and families on a skating rink behind me. And by the way, if someone donates $25,000, I'm getting on that rink. So keep that in mind and we'll find out later if I'm getting around there. But just like we have right here at the shipyards in the city of North Vancouver, I never get tired of the sounds of skate blades carving on ice as long as they're not mine. <laughs> well, I know another uniquely Canadian sound, loons. Hey, you're right. That does sound like loons. Hmm. Their sound resonates over Canadian lakes in the summer, and we're talking about loons because you have the opportunity to own a copy of Robert Bateman's Northern Reflections, The Loon Family. The poster features a loon family on a peaceful lake, and it can be yours today for a donation to Variety of $169 or more. By supporting Variety, you're helping a child to receive the mental health support they really need or wheelchairs, walkers, or orthotics to help their mobility. So please, go to variety.bc.ca or call 310KIDS and donate now. Remember, your gift will be matched and the make the impact twice as powerful. And for $169 or more, the Bateman poster can be yours. Thank you. It's 
accessibility to funding that Variety provides, it ripples through the support system that Barbara has and that the people who have been holding their breath with us. So well, there's places like Variety that'll help you go to places to actually get your kid going. And give them the best opportunity in life. Just because they have a disability doesn't mean that they can't succeed. We're very proud parents of her. We're proud of her every day. I have no words or to express my gratitude uh, for Variety to uh, provide my kids for the technology that makes life more accessible for them. So, <laughs> and to see them, they can thrive, they can grow. I'm so grateful, you know, to charities like Variety because kids like my son Keon, who is very affected and needs those resources, that extra, you know, um, time and care and support. Oftentimes they can be forgotten in our society. Without them, I don't think we'd be able to, uh, to, to you know, fulfill her dreams of, of, of going through high school successful, being successful, and then moving on to post-secondary. I think Variety's just been absolutely pivotal in that sense. Brother and sister Stuart and Jenna Walker have been singing together their whole lives, but made it official in 2012 when they formed the Rec Laws. Four of their tracks have reached number one on Canadian country charts, including the song they are about to perform for us now. Here are the Rec Laws with Feels Like That. Words never feel like this. She ain't like any girl I met. She walks in and I lose my breath. The prettiest girl in the room, hands down. Someone told me when you know, you know. I want her with me everywhere I go. Every love song on the radio. It's like I finally know what they're singing about. Yeah, this girl, she's got me shining. Struck me like a simple white lightning. Can't find the words to describe it. Hang on a second, I'll try. Feels like rolling on miles an hour. Top down on a two-man line. Climbing up a water tower. Watching that sunset fade. It's like jumping out an airplane. Way up over everything. Never gonna hit the ground. It's like a hard time. High best buzz you've ever had. It feels like. When she's loving me back, yeah, it feels like, it feels like, it feels like, feels like that. We'll call it crazy, you can call it luck. All I know is I can't get enough. If you can find a way to bottle it up, oh, you'd be a billionaire, I swear. Yeah, this girl, she's got me thinking about a one me diamond ring and bought money down. Why but all I know right now is it feels like Rolling on miles an hour Top down on a chilling like Climbing up a water tower Watching that sunset fade It's like jumping out an airplane Way up over everything Never gonna hit the ground It's like the all-time high best buzz you've ever had She's loving me back. It feels like, it feels like. Well, tell me, can you feel it? Oh, it feels like. What it feels like. Yeah, this girl, she's got me shining. Struck me like a sip of white lining. Can't find the words to describe it. Rolling under miles an hour, top down on a two lane line, climbing up a water tower, watching that sunset fade right in your name. Jumping out of there, playing way up over everything, never gonna hit the ground. It's like a all time high, best buzz you've ever had. Feels like that. Feels like that. When she's loving me. Like, 
Wow. Now, Caitlin, you know how special it is to feel included and that you are valued, and that's why the support that Variety provides is so important. Without Variety support, I probably wouldn't have received my autism diagnosis so quickly. It helped provide me with an IEP so that my teachers could understand the accommodations I needed to succeed. It's also helped me really discover what autism is for myself and empower me to educate others about autism. Oh, it's windy out here. And it's also helped me become more self-assured. We're in the midst of a windstorm, but that's okay. Absolutely. It's live TV. And what do you what uh, do you want people to understand more about this, Caitlin? I guess what I really want people to understand is that the saying, if you've met one autistic, you've met one autistic, is very true. We are all unique people, and being autistic doesn't make me any less capable than anyone else. It just means that I need some adaptations or accommodations. I do struggle in different areas, too, like when my tone doesn't match what I'm trying to say or when I don't understand various social cues. Receiving that autism diagnosis has helped me and it's helped provide me with the tools and support so that I can decipher what I call the non-autistic style of communication. That was so well said and so important. Right now there are kids like Caitlin who need your help, British Columbia. Your donations will assist with tutoring for kids with learning disabilities or kids who need mobility aids so they can learn to walk. And with your gift matched, it will go twice as far. These are life-changing gifts, so please, Give with your heart today. Absolutely. Please go online to variety.bc.ca or pick up the phone and call 310 Kids. Thank you, British Columbia. Wonderful. And such an important message uh, from Caitlin. She really is just remarkable. And for you, our viewers, you have really helped to make all of this happen for her. Absolutely. Kids cannot wait for autism assessments. If Caitlin had to wait, she may not be the confident, charismatic young person you see today. And there are many more messages that we hear about the urgent need right now. Messages from kids, from parents, and from professionals. And of course, it would not be variety if there weren't messages from some well-known artists and performers. We have assembled some pretty incredible names who are showing their hearts today. That's right. They are supporting variety, and they're asking you to support variety as well. We think you should listen to them. Hi, I'm Brent Butt. And look, I know we're all impacted by the high cost of gas and groceries and pretty much everything else. But I want you to take a moment now to imagine you're part of a family that has a limited income. And maybe in that family, there's a child that has complex health care needs. Some of these kids need, you know, very expensive therapies and equipment, things that aren't always covered by health care. That's why we really need you to donate to Variety. Just call 310 kids or go to variety.bc.ca and just give whatever you can because honestly, every little bit helps. Thanks. Variety really is a close community and the Show of Hearts Telethon is sometimes like a big family reunion. Yeah, it's an opportunity to watch these kids grow up to celebrate their successes and offer a hand during their challenges. But you, our viewers, get to see the impact of your donations and ensure that kids have the best opportunities to thrive. Variety donors helped a teenage girl with a very rare condition in 2020. Let's take a look back at Scarlett's story. I'm in a wheelchair because my legs don't work properly. Scarlett has a rare neurodegenerative disease that has been slowly shutting down her body, a disease that should have killed her. She had an older sister who passed away from the same affliction before she was two years old. It was only thanks to an immediate treatment plan that Scarlett has lived to be 14. According to her oncologist, she's still on record as being the youngest uh, um, patient to get uh, chemotherapy. She got it at uh, 20 days old. Therapies, surgeries, and Scarlett's unwavering determination have allowed her to survive and thrive. But the degenerative nature of her disease has seen her lose many of her abilities. My brain tells it what my legs should do, then they don't. Then they don't do it, They right? kind of don't listen. The help of her physios and, and her own determination, she told them, I'm gonna walk again, and she did and she needs more help with the braces and 
can't walk as far as she once could, but she still walks as much as she can, and she gets out on this bike as much as she can. This bike was funded thanks to generous donors to Variety. It helped Scarlett build muscle tone, improve her balance, and to interact socially with her friends and her family. Scarlett, you up for a ride? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Four years ago. Joining us now is Scarlett and her father, Frank. Thank you so much for being here. It's wonderful to see you. Uh, yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome. Scarlett, we'll, we'll start with you. What type of activities have you been busy with these days? Um, baseball. Baseball's good. It's springtime. Baseball season's here. Anything else? Uh, no. Well, your, your choir. Choir. Oh, choir too. Oh, you're a singer. That's uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Frank, uh, just tell us um, how the last four years have been and the impact that Variety has had on your family. Um, well, last four years, like everybody, you know, getting through COVID and and all that. And um, uh, as you can see, Scarlett's now in a wheelchair. That's happening more often. So uh, the. <laughs> I don't know if it's that funny. <laughs> she, um, with her disease, it, it's it's a slow progression, and so we it, it's hard for me to notice until uh, we get to the point where we need the wheelchair more often. So um, she's been using the bike a little less. Um, when we first got it, you know, it was great. She could do uh, uh, like a half hour at school every day. And of course, that's gotten a bit less, and um, so. Uh, but Scarlett still, you know, like she said, she does Challenger baseball. Um, some Saturdays she can do it with a walker, and 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 some sa Saturdays it has to be with the wheelchair. So she really has got a lot of determination to get out there and be Scarlett. And and thriving. It's, it's great to see the smiles and laughter,s but mentally uh, uh, thriving. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, we always have a good laugh. Um, Scarlett's known around for her her big laugh, and um, <laughs> there you go, big smile. <laughs> Just a wonderful <laughs> smile, Doug. Scarlett. So, uh, what do you hope to do once you complete high school? Uh, work with animals. Yeah. What kind of all animals? All animals. Why do you love working with animals so much? Because. Animals really do show unconditional because, love, right? Because they show unconditional love, and I like working with them. Amazing. Such rewarding work. Uh, you mentioned the adaptive bike that helps Scarlet Mobile. Uh, what other kind of support did you receive from, from Variety that really made a difference? Um, nothing tangible, but just knowing that there's uh, Variety is out there uh, supporting kids like Scarlett and having you know basically all of BC contributing to uh, helping kids like Scarlett and, and 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 really helping us as a family you know deal with um, what's going on with Scarlett and, and just so having that support is really really helpful mm -hmm. yeah what are you most proud of, of her on, on the on the ball field or in the choir Ah, uh, what am I most proud of? I guess Scarlett just does. They, we actually had a problem in elementary school because she was over volunteering. Mm. And she won a Yes I Can award, which every time she doesn't want to do something, we <laughs> shove in her face. Oh, she <laughs> I can't do that, Dad. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> Well, it's a wonderful mindset, and it's so great to see you both. Scarlett, what is your message to everyone watching today during this special show of hearts? Anything you'd like to say for the people watching today? <laughs> how, how, how about help with the phone numbers? The phone number, do you know the phone number? Up ahead? You maybe should. You can read it on the screen. <laughs> it's 310-KIDS. Uh, that's all it is to uh, donate. I want to say it a real loud voice so everyone can hear. 310 Kit. You did it. Kids. Kids. Great job, Scarlett. All right, please donate. That's the number on your screen. 
Hi there, I'm Tim Lang, president of ProShow Audiovisual, and it's truly an honor joining you here today at the Show of Hearts Telethon. For over three decades, ProShow and our founder, Tim Lewis, have been dedicated to supporting Variety BC, providing audiovisual, broadcast, and production support for the annual telethon and other events, and of course, through direct donations. This past year, we launched a special fundraising campaign with our incredible staff, and we had exceptional results. Through our combined efforts, including matching all donations, I'm thrilled to announce that ProShow and our team raised a total of $11,300 for Variety. We couldn't be prouder to stand with Variety to improve the lives of BC children with special needs. And folks, if you're feeling inspired right now, I urge you to pick up that phone, dial 310 Kids and make a donation, no matter how big or small. Together, we can all be part of the incredible difference that Variety makes. Hi, I'm Long John James, and these are my mates, Dan, Jen, Rick, and Shelley. We're from The Boat for Hope. The Boat for Hope is a one-of-a-kind event that brings kids who have been helped by Variety, the children's charity, out for a memorable day on the high seas of False Creek. After battling pirates, the kids return to Treasure Island for an afternoon of activities, entertainment, music, and food. Started in 1999, we're proud to be entering our 26th year of this pirate's adventure. Crew, with the support of the marine community, how much did we raise last year? 139,000! But mateys, to keep the pirate ship afloat and the adventure alive, we need your support. So please call 310KIDS now to help Variety change the life of a child with special needs. Arr! Arr! Hello there, it's Alvin Law. I'm coming to you remotely from my home in Calgary, Alberta, but my heart is definitely with all of you in British Columbia for yet another huge request. We need your help. And of course, we are the special kids of BC. I'm here to be their voice. We're all here on this show to be the voice of the kids, but yes, the voice of the parents. Can you imagine the added stress if you're a parent of a child with special needs? the costs alone, the money worries, we all know what that's like. So that's why we need your help. We need you to help these people who are so humble that it's very difficult for them to make the request. But now more than ever, the costs are huge. So do what you can, give what you can. Please donate as much as you can right now. We need you right now at 310 Kids. That's the phone number or variety.bc.ca to make a donation to change the life of a child forever. Thank you. Variety's Sunshine Coach program offers community organizations a safe and adaptive way to transport kids to events and programs they may not otherwise have access to. It's a true gift to see these vehicles on the street full of kids with smiling faces and you can be part of their joy. For $1,047, you can help fund a Sunshine Coach right here in BC. And today, your coach donation will be matched, so it will go even further. With your gift, your name or the name of a loved one will be printed right on the side of the coach. So when those smiling children get on and off the coach, they'll know who to thank. And we can tell you who to thank right now. Here are a handful of donors who've supported Variety's Sunshine Coach program during the Show of Hearts campaign. Thank you all for your donations. And with your donation of $1,047, you can join this list of names and have your gift matched. So please call 310 Kids right now. Well, today we'll be telling you about Variety's uh, granting categories or their pillars of support. Yeah, and one of their pillars of support is for adaptive equipment. It includes things like hearing aids or a specialized bed. Or it could mean life-saving medical supplies for children with type 1 diabetes. And that is why Dexcom is a proud supporter of Variety's adaptive equipment pillar. I'm Sandy Struess from Dexcom Canada and we've been supporting Variety since 2020. As someone who personally lives with type 1 diabetes, I'm particularly proud that we support Variety BC to help children with diabetes and their parents to manage this challenging and relentless autoimmune condition for which there is no cure. When a child is diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, life is never the same again. 
and it is up to them and their parents to essentially replace the function of a pancreas every day that no longer makes insulin. Managing type 1 diabetes is a very delicate balancing act. And the key to knowing what's going on in the body is with continuous glucose monitoring. And that has been Dexcom's singular focus since 1999. What I know for sure is that having access to the right tools and technology is utterly life-changing. So I'm very proud to share that Dexcom is donating $25,000 to Variety to help families so that parents can get a little more peace of mind and kids just focus more on just being kids. Please call 310-KIDS now. All right, that is incredible. A big thank you to Dexcom. Almost 2,000 children in BC have type 1 diabetes, kids who need to continually monitor their blood sugar levels, not just to stay healthy, but also to survive. Variety has always supported families of children with this condition, whether it was with continuous glucose monitors or now with funding for type 1 diabetes supplies. These supplies are crucial for the health of the child and well-being of the family. And it is tough to imagine that there isn't 100% financial coverage. Please donate to Variety variety now and help kids just like Freitas. I would tell them that they can still have all the food they like just by taking a shot and they can still swim, play on the playground, do sports and have fun. Honest advice for kids with type 1 diabetes from nine-year-old Freitas who was diagnosed just this past January. A type 1 diabetes diagnosis means that Freitas' young body no longer produces the insulin that helps to control glucose in her body. Her life now consists of constant checks and measures to ensure her blood sugar levels are regulated. So I had to take shots, I had to take finger pokes sometimes, and I had to have a Dexcom on my belly. But this thing sends it to my phone. The Dexcom continuous glucose monitor that Freitas uses reports her blood sugar levels back to her phone and any connected devices, including her parents and other family members. Crucial information for ensuring that Freitas stays safe. So if I go very high, I have to take a shot or do exercise or drink some water. But I do so much. And if I go low, then I have to take sugar. High blood sugar levels can lead to long-term medical complications, while low blood sugar levels can result in seizures, a coma, or even death. That's why CGMs are so important. And while PharmaCare covers the cost of CGMs and supplies like insulin, families still have to pay the annual deductible, as well as the percentage of costs not covered by PharmaCare. We just assumed that either MSP or our extended health care plan would, would cover the expenses. And when we had submitted all the claims and they all came back denied, um, and we realized that on top of all, all the learning and all the, the chaos and the shock that, that we still had to deal with, on top of that, um, that came that financial burden that we hadn't expected. And that is where Variety and your donations can have an immediate effect. Variety provides top-up funding so that families are not out of pocket for any of the vital type 1 diabetes supplies that they need to keep their child safe so that kids like Freitas can just be kids. Folks, I'm here with Jen and Stuart Walker, who are the Reckless, which I've heard is Walker spelled backwards. That's interesting. Is that true, That's Jenna? That's very true. Um, it's honestly kind of a funny story. Our mom came up with it um, because we were, didn't just want to be the Walkers, and it's actually our last name backwards, which is kind of crazy. Well, that's pretty <laughs> clever. Now, we really appreciate folks coming out to Vancouver. I know you've come from Toronto. Where did you come from? I came from Nashville, Tennessee. From Nashville, Tennessee, yes, <laughs> the, the home of music. That's right. Uh, for supporting Variety of the Children's Charity. And what it's all about, Variety just wanted to make you guys lend your talents today. And, uh, you know, Stuart, uh, what does it mean to you? It means everything. We constantly just want to find ways to give back. And uh, even hearing in the last year that 21, over 21,000 kids were helped, if we can do anything like that and we contribute anything to that, we're just so, so honored to be a part of this. So thank you all. 
We're so grateful for you guys uh, sharing your talents with us. You've seen some of the stories today and had a chance to meet some of the families this weekend. Why do you think our viewers at home should donate and support Variety, Jenna? I just mean the impact that you guys have is incredible. And I mean, we overheard that there's almost 600 families on a wait list trying to get help. And that alone is enough to donate. And we're just grateful that we get a chance to sing and to spread some awareness. That's wonderful. And both of you folks, uh, whoever wants to answer first, uh, <laughs> tell us about these next two songs we're going to hear. Yeah. yeah, I can go first. The first one's, uh, it's one of our recent singles. It's called Good Old Days. And we got the inspiration basically from hearing somebody say, you'll never know you're in the good old days until they're older. And so that's what we wrote this first song about. Yes. And then the second one is called, it's our brand new single we put out like a month ago. It's called I Grew Up on a Farm, and it's truly about us growing up on a farm. <laughs> We're a bunch of farm kids, and this is our brand new single. Well, I love it. Without further ado, here are the Reclods with Good Old Days and I Grew Up on a Farm. Take it away. Thank you. July sundown, doors unlocked town Six or at a quick stop Got a half full tank, paycheck in the bank Feels like I hit the jackpot Another Friday night About to fly on by Like a red eye 747 Bunch of damn good friends Round a dog with fire Makes you wonder if the good old days are made of nights like this Kind of thing you play can miss it Already reminiscing, taking in a southern summer sky Like this, that harvest moon is falling Those country stars are calling Hits me like a whiskey water It's so low cup Look around, take it in, man Cause the good old days are made of nights like this Well, sometimes you just know when you're in one of those. Oh, man, you had to be there times that you talk about. Twenty years from now, we'll be saying how the good old days are made of nights like this. Got a thing of blink and missing, already reminiscing, taking in a southern song of sky like this. That harvest moon is falling, those country stars are calling. It's me like a whiskey water red so Calling. Hits me like a whiskey water It's so cup Look around, take it in man, Cause the good old days are made of nights like this Good old days are made of nights like this Good old days are made of nights like this I grew up on a farm, everybody. Let's go. It's our new single. Thanks for having us. Show of hearts, Variety BC. We love y'all. Thank you. Ready? Come on. It's a shuffle. It ain't cause of my truck. It ain't cause of some George Strait song. Yeah, these blue jeans might be ripped, but that ain't how I bought it. It ain't cause of these boots. I'm sticking out like a damn sore thumb. Anytime I'm anywhere but where I'm from. Oh, I can't see the lights, just feel like home. I tell you if you really. Sunrise, 
Driving every time, just turn around. Tell you what makes the cry about stealing the tar. Why I gotta work so hard? Why I'm always saying amen? Just to be away from a best friend. Why I gotta toss a line when I see you late? Why I'm always praying for rain? You ask me why. on a farm <laughs> Well it's a bit of my grandpa It's a buzz on a Friday night And it might be a bit of a drive But just come on down and you'll see why Why I gotta watch the sunrise Jumping every time to the start Tell you what makes me cry about a steel guitar And why I gotta work so hard Why I'm always saying amen Just to be away from a best friend Why I gotta toss a line when I see you late And why I'm always praying for rain You ask me why you are the way you are I grew up on a farm The sunrise, the job ain't ever done till it's done right. And I got acres of reasons why. It's who I'll be till the day I die. I still be saying amen just to be away from a best friend. Why I gotta toss a line when I see you late? Why I'm always praying for rain? You ask me why. Thank you all. Thank you. Wow, weren't they great? Brother and sister group, the Wreck Laws. Every kid, whether they're a brother, a sister, or an only child, has a different experience at school, but these experiences do not be affected by medical condition for a di or a diagnosis. And if you have an autism designation, like me, Sometimes other students, and even teachers, don't understand our unique needs. That is why Variety helps make it possible for kids to attend special schools where kids' diverse needs can be met. Kids, just like Zoe. And I've had to have like lots of discrimination because of my condition. People not understanding, people not wanting to understand, like, Sometimes I'd feel like I was like defective. I was, there's something wrong with me. No young person should have these feelings. 17 year old Zoe has anxiety, ADHD, and autism spectrum disorder. But Zoe is also gifted, which means that it has been difficult to find acceptance at school. It was kind of heartbreaking watching her not be able to connect with, uh, with the students. There were some rough patches there where she was absolutely misunderstood by not so much the kids, but I would say the community at large and the public school system. Fortunately, Variety, the children's charity, has been able to help Zoe with tuition fees to Greater Heights Learning Academy, where learning could be tailored to Zoe's particular needs and their love of music. I feel like they really understand me. Like, when I'm having trouble, or I feel very overwhelmed, they can see that and accommodate me and I feel like it's very it's a very um, inclusive and very accepting environment. The individualized approach of a private school was having a tremendous effect on Zoe but the annual tuition fees can be prohibitive for families which is why Variety is there to help. Being a single parent, being on a limited budget and, and an income that doesn't really allow for, for students who, who are gifted and who, you know, who excel in, in school to be in a, in a, in a private uh, in a private school. Variety has had a profound impact on Zoe and her dad, but the ripple effect of her tuition grant will be far reaching. If we can have these kids now graduate from here with confidence to go out and 
and work and be a contributing member of society and have compassion towards other people with differing needs, then we have a better society and, and these individuals have better lives. The sky's the limit for, for, this, uh, for this kid. I think I would love for her to be herself and not forget who she, who she, who she is. You know, being on, on the spectrum, I think you know, lots of kids try to mask their identity to fit in, but I think Zoe is unique in that sense. I don't want people to have to go through what I went through. We need to, we need to build communities based off of acceptance, understanding and respect, not places where autistic people go and they're discriminated and looked down upon for, what, for something they can't control. All right, so important for children across BC and their families to know that there is a community behind them, supporting them and cheering them on. The names on the screen prove it. Each of those donors has decided to invest in the future of BC children with complex health care needs. And all afternoon, we have been hearing from celebrities who are doing the same. Yes, and Madison, I know you have a strong YouTube following. And it seems like YouTube and social media is such a great medium right now for connecting with people. And right here at the shipyards in North Vancouver, we have one of North Vancouver's latest YouTube stars. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick the goalie welcome nick thank you so much for having me thanks for coming here have you been stopping some pucks over there <sighs> not really no i'm pretty bad yeah. nick you have become a big star and were recently part of the nhl all-star celebrations when you were younger did you ever imagine you'd end up here i think you know every kid growing up who plays hockey had some sort of dream of playing in the nhl but uh never thought it'd be kind of the way it's gone so how I'm thankful every day how important is it for kids to know that they can achieve anything? I think it's so important if you got you know, the hard work, the dedication, you can do anything you want in this world. It's amazing. Uh, you started playing out hockey at 10 years old. Did it really? Is my mic on? Oh. Grab a mic. Okay, time to take another one. I was saying, you started hockey at 10, and you strapped on the goalie pads pretty much right away, and now uh, you're playing, and you're a recognizable goalie in this market. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. It's honestly a dream come true. I can't really put it in any other way. It's just thankful every day for all these incredible opportunities, and uh, just love the game. There for viewers who might be considering donating. Yeah, no, ma no matter how big or small, a donation is donation, and... Uh, <laughs> This might be live on air, so I'm not going to do it. It's on screen. So. Black. Hello, my name is Jason Thompson from The Young and the Restless. And I'm here today to remind you that you have an opportunity to change the life of a child with a disability or a complex health care need, or a child that needs help funding for critical equipment like a wheelchair or a hearing aid, or there are plenty of kids on wait lists that need help with autism and psychoeducational assessments. There's plenty of help to go around, and you can do that by visiting Variety, the children's charity. You can donate now by calling 310-KIDS, or you can visit Variety, Dot bc dot ca. Thank you for everything on behalf of the children and their families. We appreciate anything you give today. Thank you for your time. Hello, I'm Cam Aram, General Sales Manager from White Rock Dodge. Since 2020, our hearts have been intertwined with the mission of Variety, the children's charity. Today's donation comes to you from the soul of our fast, fun, and loud car show, a vibrant gathering that took place last summer at the Boundary Bay Airport. For us, standing alongside Variety isn't just about giving. It's about embodying the spirit of community service. It's our way of ensuring that every child, especially those with the special needs, has the chance to flourish and conquer the obstacles they face. We do this alongside a hope that our contribution can light up the path of these incredible young lives, helping them to find joy, success, and the strength to overcome. We urge you to join us in this heartfelt mission by calling 
kids today. That's 310-5437. Let's come together to make a real difference in the lives of children with special needs. Your support can transform futures. Hi, my name is Cam Remen, Vice President, Commercial Financial Services, and on behalf of RBC, we're excited to make this contribution to the Variety Show of Hearts. Like Variety, we at RBC want more British Columbians to have the tools they need to thrive to help our communities prosper. This means supporting vulnerable children and families and building more inclusive communities across the province. And that starts with this gift. Here in Canada, one, of, in one in almost 800 babies is born with Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a genetic disorder caused by an extra chromosome in the newborn's DNA. Now, this can mean the child can grow up with a variety of medical conditions and unique health needs. But it does not mean that a child cannot live an enriching and happy life. And that is why early intervention is the key to treating some conditions associated with Down syndrome. Variety donors can ensure that every child gets a chance to run and play and be part of their peer group, which is why Variety supports therapies for children starting at a very young age. Please watch Grace's story and make twice the impact with your gift, thanks to our matching donor. Two-year-old Grace was born with Down syndrome, a genetic condition. But doctors immediately discovered Grace also had a congenital heart defect that required open-heart surgery at only four months of age. But after the heart surgery, <laughs> yeah, no parent ever wants to have to go through that. It was hard to see our child go through that, but you know, well, it was a necessary thing. When you walk after right? and your child's hooked up to tubes and they're being kept unconscious and everything's The surgery helped Grace survive, but with Down syndrome, the heart condition, and the hospital stays, Grace was behind on many of her critical milestones. We couldn't really let her do anything for eight weeks after the surgery, um, so she really didn't get moving until she was probably around six months. So that set her back a little bit, because usually kids are rolling and all that stuff by then. And One, two, three, push. Yeah. To build her motor skills, Grace started attending regular physiotherapy sessions with fantastic results. Treating kids early and getting in early really helps us to support their development. Um, and for kids like Grace with Down syndrome, it helps us to potentially avoid some of the compensations or the alternative ways of movement they might create um, because they have that delay. Grace needed more than what provincial health care offered in order to thrive. But the young family survived on a limited income, meaning additional funding was needed to provide these crucial sessions. And that's when Variety stepped in. We don't know how long it would have taken if it was just us, so, or even just going once a month. You know, being able to go more than that has definitely gotten her up and moving faster and meeting the milestones that she needs to meet, which Variety has definitely helped us with, for sure. Without organizations like Variety, that families, uh, many families would not be able to access um, some of these services that help their kids just, you know, reach their maximum potential. Like many young children with Down syndrome, Grace is just starting her journey, and she'll need regular support as she continues to grow and develop. Thanks to Variety BC and their community of donors, Grace's parents are optimistic for the future and want other families to know that they are not alone. Like, don't be afraid just because you might be a lower income household that you can't do it. There's nothing wrong with having a disability. We're very proud parents of her. We're proud of her every day. And, you know, it's nice to show the world. And joining us now is Grace's family, Colleen, Tim, as well as Quinn, and little Andromeda, and of course, our star Grace. Okay, um, how important is it to get support from Variety? Oh, it's extremely important. Uh, without it, we wouldn't be able to take her to physio as much as she needs and as much as we do. Um, and she's thriving more so faster because of it. She's how getting is she a better doing? chance. Oh, she's working on uh, walking now. 
So we started with uh, crawling, and now she's often walking, and soon she'll be running. And you know, it, without variety, it might have taken that much longer for her to achieve those goals. Living with Down syndrome is a challenge. It does represent lifelong goals or, or challenges. What is she going to need in the future? Um, for Grace, mostly it'll probably be mostly physical stuff as well as um, probably speech and therapy in the future. Um, but uh, we don't know until she gets there um, because with Down syndrome, uh, things can change as she grows and develops and there may be other needs that we don't know about that will arise exactly. down the road. Okay, as part of the Show of Hearts Telethon Variety Gifts, the Leah Weeb <laughs> Memorial Grant to a Deserving Variety Family. The Leah Weeb Grant is for speech and language therapy in honor of Leah and her own uh, son Oliver's own challenges with speech and language. And Colleen and Tim, we are hugely excited to let you know that um, you are the recipients <laughs> Grace is, in fact, oh. the recipient of the Leah Weeb grant. Grace will be provided with this one-time grant of $5,000 oh for speech and language therapy sessions. Really? Yeah, wow. really. <laughs> How do you feel? That, sorry. <laughs> $5,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's... Now we don't need to worry about things. That's, that's wow. That's awesome. Thank you. That that's spectacular. Thank you, Variety. Thank you, Leah. Jones. Wow. Thanks for being here. That's awesome. We wish you guys all the best. That'll give her a great chance yeah. to just meet everything that she needs to do. And yeah. All thanks to the there. wonderful people who are helping oh. a Variety right now. They're they're wonderful. They're wonderful people. Yes. Thank and you so much for being charity. here with us today. It's awesome. Thank you. Uh, such a wonderful moment. And right now, we have another wonderful moment, one that we would like to get your help with. It is time for our hourly total. Your donations all afternoon will be matched to help kids just like Grace, kids who need that extra support and families who appreciate what you have given when you call 310 Kids. Now, remember, every single gift matters. Right now, through the Show of Hearts campaign, we've been able to raise over $1.25 million. Thank you so much, British Columbia. This total means Variety can support 502 BC kids and their families. What a great moment. Thank you so much. And thank you, Colleen and Tim and Quinn and Grace and Andromeda. Thanks for being here with oh, thanks us. Thanks for having us. All right. Um, you can help too. Would you like to say thank you to Variety for all the people who are you helping? Come you. on, Quinn. Mm -hmm. Give a thumbs up, say thank you. <laughs> Super shy. <laughs> That's okay. He's allowed. You can say yeah. thanks on his behalf. <laughs> no, thank you to Variety and everybody for donating and helping out kids like Grace and everyone. Other kids. And, yeah. Awesome. All the deserving kids out there. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Thank you. We will be back in a minute. Stay with us. <laughs> thank you. You know, our kids are the most important thing to all of us. And music is such a powerful language, it can help convey messages that words sometimes can't. And used in therapy, music can help you express yourself. Variety understands the importance of not only music therapy, but therapies like physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy as well. So please consider donating to Variety today to help the kids get extra support and therapies they need to thrive. Go online to variety.bc.ca or call 310-KIDS and show your heart. Thank you so much for tuning in. When he was a kid, he'd be up at five And take shots till he Make the thing drive out up to school and back on ice. That was his life. He was gonna play big league. Jump, it'll be with the king. 
mortality in the big league. crack it sounds like thunder as it rips through my back sometimes in the morning i'll still hear the sound amazing performance in the big leagues tom cochran so cool a canadian icon an iconic canadian song yeah we're going to stay with the ice hockey theme here because we're <laughs> we've got the rink just across from us uh, out here at the shipyards what an amazing location you know actually listening to that song i was imagining you singing it although i've heard you sing but <laughs> I, yeah <laughs> too well <laughs> mouthing it yeah yeah, yeah. lip because i was so i was holding my microphone up doing it such yeah. a great song it is uh we're back we're back with a variety show of hearts telethon once again so exciting and to be in this location, yeah. being able to mingle with people outside and to see the crew back out here has been fantastic. I'm really excited. I love this location. One of the many things that both of us love about Variety Show of Ours Telethon is all the support we get from the Canadian music industry, of course, like Tom Cochran, meeting all the inspirational children and families, and of course, spending time with our own global family. It's been fantastic, <laughs> and I am so excited. Early on, you talk about support from the music industry, the rec laws that we had on in the previous hour here were fantastic we got our obligatory instagram photo with yeah. them a little earlier and that was fantastic such great promise in that group and in, in really across the canadian country music scene so we're glad to share some of that with you hey lots of great reasons to be tuning into the variety show of hearts telethon and of course the main reason being to support variety the children's charity we're so excited that you have tuned in to help us be a part of this iconic event this afternoon. And as Chris mentioned, we are in this gorgeous setting at the shipyards in the city of North Vancouver. Got to meet the mayor earlier uh, today, Linda Buchanan. By the way, happy birthday, Mayor. It actually <laughs> is her birthday today, and it was good to share a moment with her in the green room and, and uh, celebrate that with her yeah, a little bit. On this very day, and because, you know, this is the kind of place in the shipyards where the community comes together. It's a community center 
culture and, and community is really what it's all about. It's where variety has its biggest impact. That's right. And speaking of impact, did you know your donations will be doubled all afternoon thanks to an anonymous donor? That means double the impact on BC children, double the impact on their families today. So think about that if you haven't given yet. Please know you'll double it up this afternoon. 310 Kids is the number to call. We've already met some amazing families today. We've learned how Variety helps Keon attend a special school where his needs are addressed. And we just witnessed how the Variety family comes together to support each other by providing vital access to speech and language sessions for Grace, thanks to the Leah Weeb Memorial Grant. Mm -hmm. So many good stories that we'll be sharing throughout uh, the afternoon. That's only been in the first couple of hours, all of that. We want to let you know what's coming up now between 3 and 4 o'clock. We're going to meet Barbara. She's a nine-year-old from Delta who's receiving remarkable support from Variety for her mental wellness. We're going to learn about an exciting initiative Variety is funding at Simon Fraser University with the goal of hopefully eliminating the long wait times for autism assessments. That's right. The earlier they can get that done, the better for so many kids. Also, Bella will drop by for a visit. She'll let us know how school is going now that she's received a psychoeducational assessment thanks to Variety's donations. We have so many great stories to share and so much more entertainment. But as we said, we're in this amazing location mm -hmm. and there's a little ice rink over there. Oh yeah, we want to send it over to ice level right now. It's almost like I'm at a Canucks game saying that. <laughs> over to ice level, check in with our colleague, Safia Parani. Safia? Oh, I Marco, we're sorry, Marco. yeah, we're going to Marco. <laughs> Marco's over there, sorry, Marco. Uh, that's okay, yeah. Uh, go, go ahead, Angela. What Thank do you. Think you. About this? Is this your first time? This is extremely windy out here, <laughs> but it is gorgeous. We're at the north side of the ice rink. Yeah. Marco, it is such a pleasure to share the stage with you in this oh, thank you. very windy day. Um, you are such a pro. I've watched you for so many years, oh. but this is my very first Variety <laughs> Show of Hearts telethon, so I might need to rely on you a little bit for some pointers. Hmm, pointers. Thanks, Angela. I'm really happy to help, but I also know you're an award-winning investigative journalist and a host, so I don't think you're going to need any of my tips, but we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll share some, some, some tips off screen. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Deal. Well, you know, uh, really all you have to do is keep in mind the reason that we're here, which is to help Variety and help the kids. And we can't do that without your support and the support of the generous community. Right, Angela? That's right. And when we help kids succeed, we help them thrive. And we're really helping the entire community. Donations from your community stay within your community. So you're doing more good than you probably realize. That's right, and that's why we're here. We're asking you to go online to variety.bc.ca and donate what you're able to. And when you donate this hour, your contribution will be matched up to $150,000 thanks to our gracious anonymous donor. So take this opportunity for your dollars to go twice as far and for your donation to have double the impact. Marco just told you the website, but you can also pick up the phone and call 310 Kids. Every dollar counts, so please show your heart and give and give now. Over to you, Sophia. Thanks, Angela and Marco. This is my very first Variety Show of Hearts telethon, and I'm so honored to be a part of it. And, you know, being born and raised in BC, right here on the North Shore, I have so many memories of hearing about Variety and watching the telethon and the impact Variety makes not only on kids and families, but on the entire province. So I can't wait to spend the afternoon learning, sharing, and encouraging you to give back to Variety. There are a lot of kids who are in need of Variety support right now and currently there are almost 600 children waiting to hear if Variety can provide the critical support they need with more requests coming in daily so please go to variety.bc.ca and give what you can and remember your gift today will be matched now I want to Welcome our co-host, motivational speaker and accessibility advocate Marco Pasqua and national best-selling author Angela Starrett. And But first, before that, we're going to go to Eric McCormick. Hi, I'm Eric McCormack. In the TV series Perception, I played a character living with schizophrenia, and I want to do my part to reduce the many stigmas surrounding mental health. In BC right now, many young people 
uh, living with mental challenges like ADHD, anxiety, and even schizophrenia. These kids need help now just to endure daily activities and to develop the tools and the skills they're gonna to need to thrive. Variety wants to support these kids with counseling and therapies that will reinforce their mental wellness. So please support Variety and donate to them right now. Go to variety.bc.ca or call 310-KIDS. Thank you. Another great Canadian, Eric mm -hmm. McCormack, helping us out. And as he mentioned, the need for mental health resources for BC children has never been greater. So tough to be a young person these days yeah. with all sorts of social media and all everything coming at you. It's in all of our best interest to help maintain a child's mental wellness. And that's why your donations today are so important. When you donate to Variety, your dollars will go to work immediately to help a child who might be struggling with their mental health. It's imperative we give to support them. And that's why mental wellness is a key pillar of Variety support and why a generous Variety advocate is supporting mental wellness for children across BC with a donation in excess of $20,000. Thank you so much to, to that person for their support. And we know it gets doubled this hour, so that's fantastic. Last year, Variety supported mental wellness by providing grants to over 100 children for counseling and music therapy children who needed the help that only a professional could provide. Living with mental illness as a child can be so traumatic. You might feel like your parents don't understand what you're going through, your school doesn't understand, your friends may not even understand, you yourself may not really understand what's going on. It's a complicated world to navigate and that's why the services and therapies that Variety donors fund are so important. So please, call 310 Kids right now and help support a child's mental wellness. A child like Barbara. Come on everybody, this way, you too, Mom. I'm coming. Barbara has an umbrella description of her health, and that is complex mental emotional health. And under that umbrella, the spokes that hold that up are uh, about seven different diagnoses. It's hard to believe that hidden behind this playful, creative nine-year-old lurk so many mental health diagnoses, including attachment disorder and ADHD. Barbara's family has a history of mental illness compounded by trauma she experienced as a newborn. As a result, Barbara's grandmother was forced to care for her. So being in this role of mother to uh, a granddaughter and a mother to our adult son has taken a lot of thoughtful, guided work. And the spirit trail today is invigorating, it's playful, and now I'm tired. You can choose one more thing from here because I brought other things to do. To help manage Barbara's mental wellness, she attends a number of different therapy sessions. As well, individual counseling helps her regulate her thoughts and emotions and teaches her to cope with bullies at school. Bullies who find a young girl with mental health designations an easy target. And like I just started to cry because I was getting too scared. Like they were jump scaring me. It was dark, and every and Mr. H I was just I was so scared. I started to cry because I was just just too scary for me. The counseling sessions that are so crucial for Barbara's mental wellness are not without costs. Sessions are expensive. But thankfully, Variety, the children's charity, has provided funding for Barbara and her grandmother. Barbara can now access the help she needs while the financial burdens on the family have been eased. It can wear you down. It can be distracting. It can affect decision making. Do I have enough? Should I buy this food this weekend? If we didn't have this funding that ripples through physical health and um, mental distress. <laughs> I see the tower. This, this is a, a therapy that's productive, that's scientific, that's specific, and it's expensive. And uh, if people hear Barbara's story and understand the benefits 
of it at nine years old and can find in their hearts to look at their charitable givings but know that mental health that is supported through variety is there. That's why I decided to share our story. And joining us right now is Barbara and her grandmother, Kathy. I know that's you. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. How are you? Good. How, so we heard in that, that was the first time you saw that story about yourself, right? Yes. What did you think? I uh, kind of was a bit sad about it. You were a little bit sad about it? Yeah. What, because you're remembering what happened? No. Oh, no. But the music was oh, actually the music, really sad. Yes. The, music, the music always adds a little layer of emotion. Yeah. Can I ask you, Barbara, we heard about why, why your grandma, Kathy, wanted to talk about your story, but why did you decide to share your story on TV? Um, uh, I don't think, I, I don't exactly. Well, does it help other kids, maybe? Okay, I have, I have, okay. Um, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, can you go to my mom for now? Okay. I have to remember my lines. Sure. <laughs> no worries, I forget my lines all the time. Why was it important for you guys to come forward to talk publicly about what happened? Well, we have had mental, mental health awareness and coaching and therapy in almost every person in our family. And it is uh, the possibility of genetics mm -hmm. and um, trauma and the different way that stresses and um, experiences life can highlight um, mental health conditions, whether it's anxiety, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's um, obsessive compulsive mm -hmm. disorder. So we were aware of this possibility for Barbara. Yeah. And then she had her own traumas as a child. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that if this is lifelong, it means it's a lifelong expense also. Yeah. yeah. And in order to have some balance in our life of normalcy, we were going to need to find ways to finance the counseling. And Variety has been helping with that. Yes. Yeah. Um, I. Do you remember now? So, um, I um so the reason I want to go to counseling is yeah. because I have been bullied in the past mm -hmm. and so am. Um, and I have I have a lot of fun with my counselor because mm -hmm. I really like my counselor. She mm -hmm. is the perfect counselor for me. What does she do? She like plays with me. She doesn't like worry me with stuff. She she lets me and her play anything. She lets me do stuff I like. She understands me. I like my counselor. Yeah. And the second one, um, why do I want to be on TV? TV and share my stories because other kids might not feel comfortable with their stories or have been hurt exactly so you're brave you're you're and a brave young lady to share your story on tv do you have anything you want to say to the donors barbara thank you i variety is very nice to help me because i have been having a hard time at school and i don't know about my traumas as a child right. i have never been told them actually well, we're really glad that you have found such a nice counselor and that Variety is stepping up to help. Heather is no, so nice, actually, really nice. So, like, if oh she has goodness. any rules, she doesn't go, go, like, mad, like, is bad, like, kind of mad. Look at the TV and see there's people behind us right now, and Chris has shown up. <laughs> Chris, what's going on? Well, oh if, my. <laughs> look who's here, Barbara. Isn't this amazing? I met the Boat for Hope Pirates over there. And it sounds like they might have, because they know that you love treasure hunting, they might have some special plans for you. Yeah. What do you guys have planned? Big plans. We have big plans. We have pirate loot. Pirate loot? <laughs> pirate loot to share with Barbara? This is going to be amazing. Just... On the pirate ship, we have some booty. Oh, booty. my. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> so these guys actually have a pirate ship. And after you're done here, you and your family get to go down to the dock and you'll be hanging out with the pirates. But 
on one condition that you give us your best pirate impersonation. Oh my God. You have to be able to say, oh, <laughs> Can you do it? Yeah. Um, you can do it on three? Um, I think Should I gotta. Should we all like... do it? Okay, ready? One, two, two, two. three. Arr! Well done, well done. Well, well thank you so you. much. So thank you for coming. <laughs> We're gonna hang out. All right, you're gonna have such a wonderful time. We'll try to catch up with you uh, once you are down okay. on the dock. So yeah. you should get ready. So I keep the microphone. Uh, well, we might we take that just yeah, in case we'll, that gets looted by the pirates. <laughs> we'll hang on to it for you. We'll check back with you in a bit. Thank you so much Thank for being you. part of this today. Thank, Thank you, you, Boat for Hope. And we're gonna send it over to Marco. Thanks guys, thank you. Wow, it's incredible the impact that one day in February can have on the lives of so many children across BC. But children need help more than one day out of the year. That's right, they have speech and language sessions uh, once a week or custom orthotics or they will need next month, you know, all of these things, Angela. So when you're donating, think about monthly giving. It allows you to spread your gift throughout the entire year, helping to provide reliable monthly support for kids across the province. And any new monthly donors, as well as those who contribute a minimum of $35 a month, are eligible to receive the Robert Bateman print Northern Reflections Loon Family. So be part of the solution for kids who need help all year round. Go online to variety.bc.ca or call 310 Kids now. And when you do, be sure to sign up for monthly giving. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> with me is Vicki Marie Ayers, back again with her famous Heart of Money. Now, Vicki is accompanied by today by her parents, uh, Barry on my far right and Lucille beside me. Vicki, you've been fundraising for a variety of the Children's Charity of British Columbia for 45 years now. In fact, you are Variety's longest standing and largest fundraiser by a single person, bringing in almost $600,000 for BC Special Kids. That's incredible, Vicki. What motivates you to do this? Well, my brother David, he couldn't walk, and now he can. And these kids are the best. We like to help these kids. And you, and you love Variety? I do. I love it. And you know Variety loves you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now, Lucille, you and Barry have supported your daughter all the way. How did she raise the money for this year? Well, Vicki raises the bulk of her money <clears throat> by selling raffle tickets and holding silent auctions at our two bocce tournaments. And on top of that, many of our friends and family generously donate every year with personal checks. So we're really grateful to everybody who supports us. But you know what, big shout out to, to Cindy and Daniel who do a bottle drive and our, the students of Our Lady of Assumption School in Port Coquitlam. They have been doing bake sales for us for 21 years. And this year I'm proud to say, I'm thrilled to say that they have raised $1,320. Wow, that's amazing. $1,320 of delicious treats. Good. You know, it's fantastic. Those students must be so proud. So, Vic Marie, anything more you want to say to everyone out there who not only supports you, but you support? Well, I'd like to thank Diane Gerald Draper, my mom and dad, David, and everyone who helped us for donations. Well, Ayers team, what's the total for this year? $33,000! Wow, look at this amazing cash and checks totaling $33,000 on the giant heart. Thank you so much. You know, Variety is all about inclusion, and you folks are so important part of being part of this amazing uh, telethon Thank and you. team. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Andrew Zanetti, president of the Italian Canadian Society from Port Alberni. We have been supporting Variety for over 30 plus years to help children with special needs succeed and thrive in spite of the challenges they face. I would like to present this check on behalf of the Italian Canadian Society of Port Alberni for $2,000. Please pick up the phone and call 310 Kids Now to help Variety change the life of a child with special needs. Thank you. 
across British Columbia, approximately 1 in 30 children have been diagnosed with autism. That number has risen sharply in the past 10 years. More and more kids are waiting for autism assessments so their families can access the funding and resources available from provincial agencies. But the wait is long in the public sector. And while private assessments are available, they can come with an expensive price tag. Variety wants to ensure that kids can get the help they need sooner by funding these private autism assessments and now they are working with the community to find creative ways to ensure that kids can access autism funding sooner because early intervention is the key to successful treatment plans. We were told that the quicker that we can get a private assessment done, uh, that there'd be a higher success rate for Gloriana for when she's an adult. Gloriana's story is not unlike so many children across BC who are waiting for autism assessments. Systemic delays and a shortage of practitioners mean that kids may be left waiting for more than two years for an assessment once they have been referred. Variety is trying to help clear the wait list by funding a pilot program to train graduate students on how to conduct autism assessments at Simon Fraser University. Right now the, the students are, are going through um, the, the training portion of the program and they, they learn how to administer two tools that are required for autism assessments in BC. And that is the Autism Diagnostic Observation Schedule, or the ADOS, and the Autism Diagnostic Interview Revised, or the ADIR. Um, and both of those tools are required in order to get a diagnosis and then access funding and support in BC. Learning how to conduct autism assessments is not part of the regular curriculum. It's similar to other types of assessments, so finding students to take these courses on their own accord can be difficult. And the price, expensive. Thankfully, Variety's partnership with SFU has opened up opportunities for this extracurricular autism training. This is truly an out-of-the-box solution, and we're so thrilled to be partnering with Variety. They are committing to uh, training our students and then hopefully other students in the future. And I think it's going to change the landscape of assessment in BC. It's certainly going to open so many doors for children and families. Part of the arrangement Variety has with SFU and the students is that each student will perform two autism assessments under psychologist supervision by September, meaning at least 30 kids will no longer have to wait to receive those life-altering assessments. It's critical um, to be able to look at innovative and new ways to partner, to collaborate, to be more impactful together, to be more resourceful together so that um, we're able to help as many of these kids and families as possible. Your donations to Variety ensure that children can receive the help they need now. And with this new pilot program, institutional support can provide kids and families with better hope for the future. Yeah, a little chilly. But it's good. Like I said, if my hair is moving, you know it's windy. <laughs> I've got the Beyonce look going on. I like it. Uh, it's working for you. We have been meeting some amazing kids and families today, learning all about their situations and how Variety has made such a huge impact on their yeah, lives. It's really inspiring to hear their stories, too, and the way the community comes together to support Variety, global viewers, everybody who watches this program, and in turn, we can then support these kids. And speaking of support, we really appreciate the support of all of the great performers who've been sharing their talents with us today. That's right, including our next artist, six-time Juno Award winner, platinum-selling singer-songwriter, Serena Ryder. Enjoy. Uh, this song is called Kid Gloves, and it's based on one of my favorite uh, Rumi writings. And... Basically, the writing is about, you know, how your life is a furnace of stress and anxiety when you're chasing something that's running away from you. But when you kind of slow down and realize that uh, what you want wants you too and is looking for you. And there's, uh, you know, such a, a beautiful wisdom in that that, you know, I would 
I would love to add to my daily life. And so I wrote a little homage to that. It's called Kid Gloves. It goes like this. <laughs> Right now, there are kids waiting for walkers that may help them to take their first steps. Right now, there are kids who need critical speech and language sessions so that they might be able to one day say, I love you, to their parents. Right now, there are kids who are struggling in school, but they can't get the extra help that they need because it's too expensive. Right now, there are kids on two-year-long wait lists for an autism assessment that could change the trajectory of their lives. Right now, we need you to donate to Variety because when you support Variety, these kids will get the help that they need. Right now, you can affect a child's life in the best way possible by allowing them to reach their full potential, allowing them just to be a kid. And so when you go online or call right now, your donation will be doubled. So thank you for taking the steps today to change a child's life. Variety, the children's charity, considers mental wellness to be just as important to kids as physical wellness. So when Penny and James needed help after a traumatic event in their lives, Variety was able to provide them with crucial access to therapy. And while it may not have been therapy in a traditional form, the private sessions helped give the twins the tools and supports they needed to cope and to thrive. Twins Penny and James have been through a lot in their seven years together. And even though they have each other, they needed a lot of support after experiencing a great loss. It's been three years now that um, my husband passed away. Long battle with cancer. A very traumatic battle with cancer. 
he was very sick for a long time. So it's been, like I said, the majority of their lives have been a sick daddy, mm -hmm. not a healthy daddy. We started looking for someone to help about six months after just to work through what they're feeling. Penny's not a big chatter about stuff. She processes it all internally at nighttime through dreams. And then James is very much a speaker and tells you everything. So they need to both be able to figure out how to share and work through stuff and have the proper coping skills. Learning those coping skills came with time and by trying many different types of therapies. But it was music therapy that has allowed both Penny and James to express themselves and work through their feelings. Uh, mostly because all the other therapies really didn't work as well. Um, and because our dad died. It was like, really hard on us, like pushing us to not, to like, just sad sometimes. Um, but you have therapy and help us, like, push that sadness away. We try to teach, we try to guide, we try to support, but we're not trying to meet just musical needs and certainly not musical skills. I have noticed a difference in the twins. Um, Penny speaks more, so she tells you what she's feeling. Um, and I think it helps James process stuff, but I think it's just helped them. If they're mad, they play mad music. If they're sad, they play sad music. And then she goes from there to help. So it gives them that safe person that they can work through feelings with. So it's, it's nice. Unfortunately, specialized therapies are expensive, but Variety is committed to supporting the mental wellness of children. After paying out of pocket for months of sessions for the twins, their mom was able to get a grant from Variety to cover the cost of music therapy sessions for both Penny and James. I lost all my insurance when my husband died and I don't have insurance through my work. So everything is out of pocket for me. So it adds up really fast when you've got two kids at an hour each that, you know, you can go through the money quite quickly and it's nice that they're there to help you. Just let you get what you want for your kids. Thank, Thank you for, for helping us. us. Hey guys, it's Lauren Spencer Smith and from writing songs in my bedroom on Vancouver Island to seeing my song Fingers Crossed absolutely changed my life. I know what it's like to see people's dreams come true and that is why I'm here today to ask you to help these kids help their dreams come true. Whether it is an extra therapy session or a walker to help them move independently or even tuition to help them attend a special school. You are helping the kids when you support Variety, the children's charity. So call 310KIDS and give with your heart today. If you've been watching the show of hearts this afternoon, you may have already seen the beautiful poster we're about to share with you. But if you're just tuning in, we want, to, we want you to know all about the incentive from Canadian artist and naturalist Robert Bateman, who has generously offered a poster copy of his stunning Northern Reflections loon family. Yeah, this piece features a family of loons swimming in a serene lake with light reflections being caught by each ripple in the water. And it is a small detail, but those ripples, they're important because they actually are, represent the ripple effect that your donations have on a child and their family and this community. When you donate to Variety, you're helping a child with complex healthcare needs, perhaps with speech and language opportunities, those opportunities help a child communicate with their family and develop more confidence at school. So you're not just supporting one child, you're helping an entire community. That's right, and with your donation of $169 or more, you will receive your very own copy of the Bateman poster. And every time you see it, you'll be reminded that the work that Variety does makes the support possible. So please go online to variety.bc.ca or call 310-KIDS. Thank you so much. My name is John Elkington. I'm a car salesman at Coastal Ford. I'm here to present a check for $5,000 on behalf of Coastal Ford and the Carson family. Coastal has been a partner with Variety since 1994, making this our 30th year in a row. I know that the Carson family takes great pride in helping our community and supporting children in need. It's my honor to present this check on their behalf. 
My role as a sales specialist at Coastal Ford allows me to assist with Variety's Sunshine Coach program. This program provides vans and buses that are used by Variety-supported charities. These coaches will help get kids in need to events, programs, and fun activities. Knowing that I can help provide vehicles that will put smiles on children's faces and create memories that will last a lifetime brings joy to my heart. I feel privileged that I get the opportunity to work with Variety. I hope that you also take the opportunity to help bring joy to kids in need by calling 310 Kids now. With a simple donation, you can change the life of a child with disabilities and complex health needs. Thank you for your support. Hi, my name is Julio Carrillo, and I'm a local entrepreneur. When I was younger, my brother had a seizure at six months old, and now he is stuck with a disability that is a lifetime. I decided to donate to Variety $10,000 because I personally know from personal experience that hardship that comes from having a family member that will forever need some sort of help. And Variety is that type of charitable organization that does help and gives back. In today's economy, everything is difficult, work is difficult, rent is difficult, food is difficult, but Variety can help, donate, help and give back. Caleb and Ronan are brothers who have been supported by Variety. The younger of the two, Ronan has neurodiverse needs. He has autism and is nonverbal. Caring for one child with complex needs can be challenging, but for a family with two children who have neurodivergent conditions every day, life can be daunting. Thankfully, Variety was able to provide the crucial funding for Ronan's occupational therapy. It's a full-time job, that's why I can't work. Even just all the managing, the scheduling, and the timing of everything, getting everybody to different places, and it's definitely, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's tiring. For a family coping with one child who has complex needs, life can be challenging. But when two children in the same household have neurodivergent conditions, everyday life can be daunting. 10-year-old Callum has ADHD, anxiety, and a learning disability, while 8-year-old Ronan has autism, global developmental delay, and is nonverbal. Both require extensive therapies to help them succeed. Whoa, that's great! The current healthcare crisis in BC extends beyond doctor shortages and hospital wait times. Private practitioners have long wait lists as well. And without enough funding, charities like Variety may not be able to approve every grant for crucial equipment or services for families in need. Ronan was on our wait list for quite a while. Um, we had a spot for him last summer, for example, and we offered the parents a spot, and they needed to turn it down because they just couldn't pay for it because they actually didn't have Variety funding set up yet. This year, Variety was able to provide the crucial funding for Ronan's OT. But there are many children out there who are still waiting, and not just for one service. Children with neurodivergent conditions need as much help as they can get. Ronan needs weekly therapy sessions, and um, he doesn't just only need OT, he needs speech therapy, he needs behavior consulting, he can benefit from a variety of more therapies like music therapy, counseling, um, so for a family, that's unaffordable. It just doesn't work. And for Ronan's family, things are even more complicated and more expensive because both of their sons require multiple therapies. These boys need constant support, support you can help provide through your donation to Variety. If we didn't have Variety, I don't think the boys would be managing very well in their day to day. They definitely wouldn't be able to um, uh, interact with the kids at school and even just sit in a classroom and, and just be a regular kid. I don't think they'd be able to do any of those things. Wow. Yeah, I, they're going to have such a great time, you know, and, and it may come as a shock, but 47% of Canadian parents have at least one child that's been a victim of bullying. And while bullying can cause physical harm, the trauma associated with it can also lead to mental health challenges, including anxiety and depression. And as you just saw with Barbara's story, Variety believes in supporting mental wellness through counseling and therapies. 
Barbara is one of the hundreds of children Variety has supported in the last few years. Each of those children with their own unique stories and their own unique experiences. Now, on last year's show of Arch Telethon, we introduced you to Isaac, a Victoria boy whose bullying began in kindergarten. Music therapy helped him not only find a way to express his feelings, but also provide a safe space for him to share his emotions. So let's take a moment and look back at Isaac's story now. He was getting kicked and punched and um, his glasses were broken. It, it, it was severe bullying. At the age of five, it was discovered that Isaac was blind in one eye and visually impaired in the other. He became a target for a bully at school and was repeatedly attacked. The bully that bullied me the most uh, tormented me. He uh, would kick me and hit me um, and basically make my time at that old school very bad. The bullying continued into the second grade when Isaac was diagnosed with dyslexia and ADHD, which can present if a person experiences trauma. It was also discovered that Isaac required surgery to correct some of the damage the bully had caused him. After the surgery, I had to take a lot of time off school because I was recovering and it was very difficult and painful. Knowing her young son was struggling, Sharon sought out help for Isaac. Sharon applied to Variety for grants to cover the cost of therapy sessions, including music therapy. These therapies over time can be expensive, so it's tremendously important uh, for people to be able to have um, consistency and not just have to stop therapy after the money runs out. And that's where variety comes in and allows that continuity, which is crucial, you know, for uh, success. The therapies helped me get out of uh, my anger at the bully and my stress and my fear. And that's, they made me feel better. And joining us now is the man, the myth, the legend, Isaac himself. Thanks so much, Isaac, for coming all the way over from uh, the island to be with here, us here today. Thank you for inviting me to this special event. It is a privilege and an honor to be part of the Variety Show of Hearts Telethon. Now, you have a powerful voice, Isaac, and, um, you know, it can be scary to stand up in front of the people and tell them your story. So where do you find the strength to share your experiences? My strength comes from knowing that I can triumph over trauma with love and support. I have faith in God and faith in humanity. And uh, are you still going to be going to those sessions that we saw earlier? Yes, I have um, somatic therapy twice a month, and I go to music therapy once a week. Now, how have the therapy sessions that Variety's covered helped you in your journey? Therapy has given me the confidence to express the emotional and physical pain from the bullying in a safe place. I feel like I belong and no longer feel like I need to hide or be invisible. I know it's safe to feel and process all the sensations and emotions stuck in my body from the past trauma. I'm learning healthy ways to regulate difficult emotions, such as through breathing and moving my body in somatic therapy, or through music to calm my nervous system. Well, you're, are you going to stick around and help me co-host for the next little uh, while or so? Uh, we're so excited to have you here, and is there anything that you're looking forward to? I am looking forward to encouraging viewers to donate to Variety so more kids can receive the support they need to grow. I'm also looking forward to introducing one of my best friends who is also receiving support from the Variety to help him as he goes through treatments for brain cancer. Thanks, Isaac. You're such an inspiration, and uh, I'm really looking forward to having you as my partner up here. Hi, we're Bare Naked Ladies, and we understand how important it is to support kids. Variety has been supporting kids with complex health care needs in BC for almost 60 years. And you can do your part by donating. It'll mean so much to kids who need autism assessments or hearing aids or wheelchairs. So please call 310-KIDS now or go to variety.bc.com. 
www.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca
All right, and Fernanda, receiving this assessment is, you know, of course, a, a huge deal. Um, what does this mean for Bella? And, you know, tell us what this means for the family as well. Well, for Bella, it means that she can actually thrive in her school, um, be a normal kid like every other kid. Um, she can um, do her speeches and her journals just like anybody else before she was having a really hard time trying to communicate what she wanted to say because of her learning disability. So now she can do that. And for us, it means that she's actually getting more confident to be in the world. And have you noticed that there's been a difference in uh, the attitude uh, about you know, going to school since this has been done to support Bella? Definitely, yes. She's more excited and happy to get up in the mornings and go see her teacher and her friends before it was a struggle to get her up and going. But now she's happy to be there. She wants to be there, which is the most exciting part. And then now she comes home happy as well. All right, we love that. Now, you had to create an IEP uh, with the school. What did that entail? And uh, tell us about that. I mean, it helped a lot because my teacher knew what was going on. My parents knew what was going on, and the people that were trying to help me knew what was going on. That's awesome. Now, Bella, I understand on top of your schooling, uh, you have been doing cheer. And uh, tell us how that's been going, and what do you love about cheer? Tell us. Cheer is fun because I can make new friends, um, friends that I've seen at school or around, and I've never not got to know them. Now I know them. Um, I love cheer because it's something, a way that you can connect with friends and teachers, and you can have fun. All right, and uh, I know you've recently just joined uh, a new cheer team, and you've been in some competitions. How has that been going? It's been going awesome. We got first place, and we got second place. That's awesome. Well, Bella, we happen to have a few friends involved in cheer as well who work with the BC Lions. Now, they weren't able to be here today, but they want to share this very special message for you. So let's, let's take a look. Hi, Bella. I'm Cadence with the Upward Dance Team. We loved watching your story and heard that you're really passionate about cheer. We were doing auditions this weekend. Otherwise, we would have been there in person to help you lead a cheer. I wanted to invite you to an upward dance team rehearsal where our team gets to teach you a few moves. You and your family will also get to attend a BC Lions home game and you'll join us on field on the sidelines to see the action up close. All of us here at the upward dance team and the BC Lions are so glad you finally got the help you needed and we are looking forward to meeting you. Bella, isn't that so exciting? So exciting, I'm so excited to go. How do you, I mean, this is obviously something that you didn't expect coming here today. How exciting is that? Very excited. I'm so excited to go. So you're, you know, Fernanda, we know that uh, this has been a huge, huge passion for Bella, um, you know, being involved in cheer, and now this is something that she'll get to do. How does that feel? It's very exciting, like she said. Yeah, it's just that she, it's something that she is very passionate about and she's been keep going with it. Um, even though the struggles that she has is something that she stepped up and she's doing great. So I think this will her, give her a confidence boost and then to keep going and to keep at it and do better. Well, Bella, we are so excited for you and we want to wish you continued success in everything you're doing, especially cheer as well. And we're so happy that Variety has been able to help you and uh, with your psychoed assessment. And uh, we thank you for sharing your story with us. And uh, we hope our viewers at home see this and anyone who's watching and wondering if an assessment would help them or a loved one, that they see the difference it's made for you. And uh, we hope people will call Variety and help, which means we need all of you watching to make that call. So when kids like Bella need help, Variety will be there to say yes. You can simply go to variety.bc.ca or you can call. And Bella, why don't you tell us the number? 310 Kids. That's right, 310 Kids. And you all have the power to change the life of a child. So please call now. Let's go back to Chris and Sophie. Oh, thank you so much, Saf. Bella is going to have so much fun with the Lions Uproar dance team and the whole family gets to see a game. That's amazing. So She's cool. going to have a great time, no doubt. And you know what, Bella, come back and co-host with us too because I just think yeah. she's got that <laughs> she's got that glow, she's got that ability, and it would be great yeah. to have you as a co-host on this broadcast. So seeing that smile on her face, really seeing the smiles on 
all of the kids' faces that we have seen today is what makes this all worthwhile. Maybe she can do a little cheer for us next year if she I, comes You back. know, she's getting the best training for <laughs> right? the Uproar Dance Team. All afternoon, donations have been pouring in as part of the 2024 Show of Hearts campaign, and it's time for us to get the hourly total, our first total together this year. Yeah, amazing that the first hour has gone by so quickly. I can't wait to see that number. It's time, it is time. The accountants have been adding it all up. Chris is very above board and we rolled up our sleeves. Here it is, $1.5 million, $1,564,004. We can help 626 kids in BC with those donations. Any amount too because even a $4 donation was needed to push us over that amount, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So it doesn't matter what you got, please help us. And thanks so much to our incredible supporters. So many of them call in. Every donation matters and it truly does make a difference. And it's gonna put even more smiles on the faces of kids across BC, just like Bella. More than 1.5 million and counting means variety can help provide help to more than 600 BC kids and families. Thank you to all of our generous donors and to our anonymous supporters who provided the matching donations this hour as, as well. And there is still time to add to that total. We have an hour and a half left. So please be sure to donate and join the names that are scrolling by on the bottom of your screen. Just go to variety.bc.ca or as Bella said, call 310 Kids. And thank you from all of us here at the shipyards in the city of North Vancouver and of course from everyone at Variety. Please donate to Variety and help kids. Just like me. Amazingly, we are heading into hour four of this year's Variety Show of Hearts Telethon live at the shipyards at the city of North Vancouver. Yeah, it's a little blustery, but it's also been a little sunny. And yeah, a little rainy, but it's also been warm. It's been everything. It's We're been getting very it West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> what thank, it is. You so, thank you so much for watching us. And did you know right now there are almost 600 kids waiting to hear if Variety can provide the support they so desperately need. More requests coming into Variety every single day. That's right, and that's why we're here. We're asking for your support to help kids across BC, including many of them that you'll be meeting here today. So let's take a look at who we'll be meeting. Kids like Jaden whose dreams of being a lacrosse player were suddenly threatened by the cost of expensive orthotics. Thankfully though, Variety was able to step in and help Jaden when he needed an extra hand. He's also a heck of a video game player, I know that for a fact. Also, singer, songwriter Asan Abi will be here joining us. He's a Canadian artist who will be entertaining us here at the shipyards with what we know, because we heard the sound check, will be an incredible performance. Can't wait for that. Yeah, looking forward to that one. And Barbara, of course, will set sail with the Boat for Hope Pirate crew. We hope they have a jolly good time on the open waters of Vancouver Harbor. And that'll, they'll be bundled up, they'll be fine. They'll be bundled up, there might be, there might be some weight. Waves, but that only adds to the excitement. Hey, it's going to be a great hour. Thanks so much for joining us. And now let's check in with Safia and Angela over at Ice Level. Thank, thanks, Chris and Sophie. Variety's impact reaches beyond the ice here in North Vancouver, even the lower mainland. Over 240 communities across BC have been impacted by your very generous gifts. And many of those are in remote areas of the province where services can be hard to come by, you know, away from the major hospital service providers and equipment suppliers, places like Falkland, Tassis, or Kitwanga. Now, Angela, uh, you have been to some of these places and many more and not always under the best circumstances. Yeah, you know, I actually did grow up homeless. I grew up on the street as a young person and, you know, I really had to fend for myself, but with you know such incredible support from the community you know I was able to survive and eventually survive and what I have learned is there is you know a very supportive and caring community out there and all of you can be part of that community simply by donating today and helping a child in need. Yeah thank you so much for sharing that Angela and to all our viewers know that your donations will stretch across the province and provide so much to kids and families and your impact will be even greater when you donate today because the 
Vanderveld family is generally matching and generously matching donations up to three hundred thousand dollars. Wow. So so make your money work twice as hard and go twice as far. Go to variety.bc.ca or call 310 kids. And kids across this province are waiting. So please, please show your heart and donate now. Wow, $300,000. That's a great offer, isn't it, Isaac? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> well, you know firsthand how important it is for people to donate, don't you? Yes, without your kind donations, I may not have received support from my therapy sessions. And we heard in the last hour how important music therapy can be, and you also go to somatic therapy sessions. Can you explain what that is for anyone who doesn't know? Somatic therapy supports healing by helping me reconnect to my body so I can process and heal from past trauma and manage pain. By identifying and labeling the sensations and feelings, I can release the negative emotions I internalized when I was bullied. Wow, it sounds like it makes a huge impact on your life and you have a good friend who also attends somatic therapy sessions. Can you tell us about your friend Shiloh? Well, I met Shiloh when I changed schools in grade two. It was a very scary time for me, but Shiloh became a loyal friend I could trust. We have a lot in common, like playing video games and have health conditions impacting our lives, like blindness and visual impairments. Shiloh has brain cancer and my mom had cancer, so we relate to health challenges we both face in our family. Well, we all want to wish Shiloh the best because he's currently battling cancer. Luckily, Isaac's friend Shiloh found success in somatic therapy sessions, which were covered by a grant from Variety, the children's charity. So we know that there was a mass on his brain, and that was the worst day that I can't even think that that was there. Shiloh has optic glioma, a tumor the size of an egg sits on his optic nerve. He has no peripheral vision, only half the vision in his right eye, and is completely blind in his left. If the doctors operate to remove the tumor, Shiloh could lose sight in his left eye permanently. So for now, he undergoes weekly chemotherapy treatments to shrink the tumor instead. So we have to deal with it for a few more years. That's what the doctor says. Mental health can quickly deteriorate in children facing such physical health challenges, especially undergoing weekly chemotherapy treatments like Shiloh. That's why Variety, the children's charity, feels it's so important to support mental wellness for children so kids can learn coping strategies even while fighting cancer. For Shiloh, one of those strategies is somatic therapy. Somatic therapy is very uh, critical for mental wellness in terms of putting mind and body together, especially when your symptoms are showing in your body. So figuring out like what is your body telling you, but then also what to do about those bodily sensations. So uh, somatic therapy can help you figure out techniques to discharge the physical and emotional distress. But now uh, he's doing well. He can regulate himself, like, you know, with, with uh, emotions and stuff. Uh, yeah, he's better. And uh, not scared anymore of his treatment, like especially the poking and stuff. I think it helps. Wow, what an incredible story, Isaac. And you know, we're all rooting for Shiloh. How's he doing? Shiloh is receiving chemotherapy for his brain cancer, but he is strong and doing the best to go to school despite the side effects from cancer treatments. Well, both you and Shiloh have had some experiences with vision loss, and what is it like to have, be able to have someone with the same experiences as your friend? I mean, I mean, that's a pretty rare connection that the two of you have. There's uncertainty with with cancer and vision loss that is overwhelming and stressful, but it is reassuring to know that Shiloh is receiving the support from Variety so he can process the feelings that come with cancer diagnosis and vision loss. I'm grateful that there is therapy to support healing and growth. Well, thank you for sharing these personal moments with us, Isaac, and we wish Shiloh all the best in his treatments and his counseling sessions, for sure. I want to wish him all the best, too. And you can help kids like Shiloh and me, like me when you visit variety.bc.ca and make a donation that is being matched today. 
plus Marco, I'm going to stick around and we can continue to encourage people to help Variety by calling Free 10 Kids. No, that sounds like a great plan, Isaac. So please call now and you'll get to see more of us. <laughs> I'd like to introduce Leanne Marsh, Chairperson of the BC Regional Council, Gordon McGrath, President of Local 114, Bob Beerman, President of Local 111, James Griffin, Local 114 Representative from Vancouver Island, and Bill Gauthier, Secretary Treasurer of the BCRC and Local 114. Unifor is Canada's largest private sector union with more than 315,000 members across the country, working in every major sector in the Canadian economy. In British Columbia, Unifor represents more than 22,600 members through 59 locals. For the past 30 years, Unifor and our locals in BC have been donating and working closely with Variety, the children's charity to raise funds to help sick children and their families in BC. Variety couldn't help as many children as they do without the hearts of many. Our BC Show of Hearts Telethon brings families, communities together to raise money that changes lives. But thanks to our National BC Union, BC Regional Council, Local 114, the staff, Local 3000, Local 4276, Unifor VCTA, Local 333 BC, Local 780G, Local 2200, and Local 111. Unifor is proud to make donation this year in the amount of $15,054. We also would like to encourage all of our members and their families to make a personal donation to Variety. Call 310 Kids to give your donation over the phone. Thank you. On behalf of the Ambulance Paramedics of BC, we are proud to donate $2,500 to support local communities and the children's charity. Our members are very active in treating and caring for children with special needs. And it's through organizations like this that we can do even more good. Please donate now to help Variety change the life of a child with special needs. The accessibility to funding that Variety provides, it ripples through the support system that Barbara has and that the people who have been holding their breath with us. As well, there's places like Variety, that'll help you go to places to actually get your kid going. And give them the best opportunity in life. Just because they have a disability doesn't mean that they can't succeed. We're very proud parents of her. We're proud of her every day. I have no words or to express my gratitude uh, for Variety to uh, provide my kids for the technology that makes life more accessible for them. So, <laughs> and to see them, it can thrive, it can grow. I'm so grateful, you know, to charities like Variety because kids like my son Keon, who is very affected and needs those resources, that extra, you know, um, time and care and support, oftentimes they can be forgotten in our society. Without them, I don't think we'd be able to, uh, to, to you know, fulfill her dreams of, of, of going through high school successful, being successful, and then moving on to post-secondary. I think Variety's just been absolutely pivotal in that sense. Helping us do so much good, and those stories are perfect examples of it. The Show of Hearts Telethon introduces us to children who have received your support so that they can thrive. We show you the impact that your donations have had on the lives of these kids and their families. Yeah, it's also a great opportunity for us to revisit with families helped in previous years and find out how they're doing, the impact that they've experienced, and to see the need that is still still out there. Now back in 2021, we were introduced to Emiliano, a young boy with multiple complex needs. Children with these conditions may not be able to walk, to stand, to see or hear or even feed themselves. That's right, 24 hour a day care is often required and the stress that puts on a family can be overwhelming. So please consider donating to Variety as you get reacquainted with Emiliano. The brain injury was so severe that he, you know, he, he didn't really have a, a chance to, to develop any motor skill. There was no forewarning that Emiliano was going to be anything but a typical child. 
But as a newborn, a traumatic brain injury changed all of that and left Emiliano with cerebral palsy. In itself, CP would have been difficult for the young family to deal with, but as the co-occurring conditions kept adding up, it became apparent that Emiliano would face challenges with every facet of his life. It was, of course, super challenging for everyone. It took us at least a year to kind of get over it and you know understand that this is a reality that we will have to live with and that our son won't be able to reach all these milestones and that life is going to be different and tough for him and for us as well. Emiliano requires a tremendous amount of support in his day-to-day -day life. He is fed with a G-tube. He cannot walk or stand or even hold his head up on his own and Variety has been there for the family to help ensure that he can thrive and be an active part of the family that loves him so much. So we're super thankful that Variety was able to fund the um, leg braces as well as the standing frame because those two things are fundamental for my son's health and for our family. You know, as a low-income family, it's, it's super hard to do those extra expenses because, you know, we, we're living with our budget like in a very limited way. Oh, that's fantastic. And as is the case with all of the families we've met here today, the health of their child comes first. And we had hoped that Emiliano and his mother would have joined us here this afternoon, but Emiliano recently had surgery that was rescheduled to just a few days ago, so they can't be here today, but we want you to know that Emiliano is recovering well, and we want to send out our best wishes to him and his family, and we want to let them know about a surprise that we've put together for them. As part of the Toygo Mobility Grant, Emiliano is going to receive funding for a specialized chair that will make life much more comfortable for him as he recovers from surgery and for his overall comfort at home. Emiliano, you have an entire province cheering you on, and we just want to wish you and your family all the best. Let's send it to Safia now, who has a special guest. Chris, there has been such great energy down here at the shipyards all afternoon and such great community support. And one organization that understands community is the Vancouver Whitecaps. And of course, the legend Carl Valentine is with us here this afternoon. Now, I have to ask you, of course, soccer is wonderful, but are you going to get on the ice this afternoon? I might have made the Canucks, but I can't skate. And for Spike, we don't have skates big enough, so we'll have to give it a miss today. But uh, yeah, it's just a great environment here and just great energy. And uh, so since we're sticking to the turf, uh, to the next question, uh, the regular season is uh, kicking off in a week. Now, what can we expect from the club this year? It's going to be a fantastic season. And uh, for the first game, we've opened up the upper bowl. Uh, we've got sellout uh, games coming up and we've got a very entertaining team. And of course, if you come, you get to meet Spike as well, so lots of fun things. That's fantastic, and you're here to support Variety this afternoon. Uh, tell us, why is it so important for the club to come to these types of community events and show the support? Well, I think it's important because it's what we should be doing as, a, as an organization. Uh, we have a great following, thousands of fans, and we want to be a great uh, club on and off the field, and we want to impact uh, you know, everything in the community. And uh, this is a great way to do that through via, uh, Variety because uh, there's lots of kids and families that uh, uh, need support. And, you know, as I say to our fans, you know, we're going to have a great year. It's going to be a fantastic year. And let's start off by uh, donating here to Variety and uh, helping these kids and families. Fantastic. And any message to donors who are watching right now? Yeah, uh, I think especially to our Whitecaps fans, uh, let's get on board with this. It's going to help uh, a lot of kids and families uh, that uh, unfortunately, as uh, they have uh, their struggles, uh, you need money. Any donation uh, is going to be uh, great for, for these kids. So let's uh, get on that, Whitecaps fans. Thank you so much for that message. And thank you so much for joining us here today. Well, some of the entertainers on today's show of Hearts Telethon have joined us from all over the world. I would love to be hanging out uh, with on the Walk of the Earth in Costa Rica. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> same, same. Um, but you're going to be really glad with our next musician here. Ace and Abby is a Juno-nominated performer wow. currently on a worldwide tour, but thankfully here in Vancouver with us today. Well, maybe I can just hang out with Ace and Abby then. 
You know, I think you two would get along great, but I also know that you are really going to enjoy his music. Ace and Abi became the first Indigenous artist to have a number one hit on any media-based chart with his hit, Nomads. Nice. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. Now, remember, every gift at Variety matters today, and your donation will be matched. So please donate to Variety while you can enjoy our next performer, Ace and Abi. There goes it. Let's go come out. Shall a fortune blind me see? Ghost in the feeling. Make my way through the dark. You will bleed me. I used to burn them bright. You would dim me light. Oh, just give me a shine. It is gonna be alright. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, come out, come out wherever you are. Was I a ghost in your loving arms? My peace in your breaking heart. Was I a ghost in your loving arms? Laying low down at my feet, I was defeated. I used to burn and rain. Are you a dimming light? Just give me a 
shine that it's gonna be in your loving on my peace in your breaking on Such a beautiful, such a beautiful song, such an, incre an, an incredible musician, hey? Absolutely, that was wonderful. And right now, uh, everything is so much more expensive, money is so tight, and that's the time when families of children with complex health care challenges really need your help the most. That's right, and your donations to Variety will be going to help children who have been facing challenges every day of their life. Having the ability to be part of their community, to experience after-school programs and outings can be life-changing for those children. And doing it all in a new, safe, comfortable Sunshine Coach is really a gift that just keeps on giving. That's right. So donate $1,047 and your name or the name of a loved one will be recognized on a Sunshine Coach. And when kids climb on the coach, they will know that it was you who helped make it all possible. All you have to do is call 3 10 kids or go online to variety.bc.ca and help fund a sunshine coach. One of the newest sunshine coaches was awarded to the Spirit of the Children's Society, an Indigenous organization in New Westminster to help connect foster children with their families. Take a look. We received uh, a van for one of our programs, primarily for the BOFT program, which is bringing our families together. And that is for visitation programs. So the children who are in foster care, um, we travel to the, their homes, pick them up, bring them to uh, a safe environment at Spirit where they can uh, visit with their families. Prior to receiving their new Sunshine Coach, the BOFT program didn't have a safe and reliable way to transport the children so they could see their families. What we did before was use our own vehicles. So they're pretty small, so it limited us. It gives us more space for the children. We can take larger families. This way, you know, if we have a family of four children, we can have them comfortably sit inside. So having this, it's been great because I can put a DVD on, it keeps them calm, distracted. It's a nice transition from being um, at home or even if they're emotional during when we have to take them back home. Variety is committed to supporting organizations who are helping enhance the lives of children around the province and have put over 600 Sunshine Coaches on the road. Your donations to Variety will ensure that even with rising costs, 
coaches will be available for organizations across BC. Variety provides uh, a great opportunity for especially nonprofit organizations, um, you know, and being able to provide necessary means, you know, for us to maintain and to provide new services possibly. Uh, so they give us that opportunity um, for us to, I guess, move forward. Sunshine coaches have such a tremendous impact on communities around BC and they would not be on the road without your support. Each donation of $1,047 supports the Sunshine Coach program and when you make that donation your name will be printed on the side of a coach. That means you can join donors like Linda and Kevin, Bradley, Porco Quitlam's Bob and Barbara Stewart from Burnaby, and remember, your Sunshine Coach donation will be matched today, so please give. Just like Bob Johnson and Leon Piercy from White Rock and Teresa Anderson from Delta. Thank you so much for your support and your name to a Sunshine Coach by donating $1,047 by going to variety.bc.ca or calling 310KIDS right now. Variety has just opened so many doors for Gershon and his family. Um, he's getting the help he needs to become confident and without having his regular speech sessions, he might not be at the same place he is now. So Variety really fills a need that is not being filled by the government um, where they're able to you know, make sure that those kids don't get left behind and that they have the same opportunities as everyone else and that they can have that same inclusion in the community. So yeah, getting support from an organization like Variety this early in life and getting the support to attend therapies and gain these movement skills and build her motor skills and hit those motor milestones um, is going to have a long-term effect for her life. I would say some families couldn't attend if it wasn't for Variety. We wouldn't have certain pieces of equipment to help those students if it wasn't for Variety. Um, so there's sort of a, a, a huge effect. It's like a ripple effect. We've been talking today about something called the variety effect, and that represents how just one single act, whether it's a donation or a grant, can have a ripple effect, a positive impact that spans years into the future. And it's true, every gift of variety, the children's charity, has the potential to not only impact children and families today, but also because of that support and their ability to flourish it impacts the future of our communities. It's that whole paying it forward thing, right? That's right. Exactly. So speaking of communities, we're having such a great time here in the shipyards in the city of North Vancouver. Time is almost slipping away. Yeah, it's really amazing. <laughs> it is already getting close to the end, but we still have so much to do in the final hour. Somehow we've only got one hour left in this year's Show of Hearts Telethon. And we're doing so great so far with raising funds to help uh, all the kids in BC and their families. I think the last total we had was about 1.5 or 1.6 million dollars. Yep. We are hoping to get to 2.5 million this year. And we've only got an hour to do it. We need you to jump on the phones or jump online if you can. We want to help more than 900 children and their families throughout the year. We know you can help us do it. 310 kids is the number to call, variety.bc.ca. All right, let's head over to Angela. Well, year after year, celebrated Canadian artist and naturalist Robert Bateman donates one of his legendary works of art to Variety as an incentive for you to donate. And for 2024, we have a very special piece. It's called Northern Reflections Loon Family, which was commissioned in 1981 and is available today to Variety donors. The work features a family of loons on a northern Canadian lake, a truly Canadian scene. And a scene that truly fits with Variety. The family of loons are swimming on a peaceful lake with one parent looking forward and one parent looking at the baby chicks. Wonderful. So cute. And the scene can be hanging on your wall for $169 or more. You can receive a poster copy of this very special artwork. 
Plus, any new monthly donors who give $35 per month are also eligible to receive this poster. So please, please go online to variety.bc.ca or call 310 Kids now. Thank you for your support. Hi, my name is Ken Hayden and I'm the chairperson for BC Bowls for Kids. And this is my good friend and honorary chairperson, Norm Groman. And also we have this lovely character with us this year, Peter Pinn. Since 1987, we have raised over $3.3 million. How many kids do you think we've helped since that time, Norm? Oh, it's almost too, too many to count. I think it's uh, for every donation for that goes for one child, I think you can multiply it by about five. And I think that is a result of what we used to call random acts of kindness. You know, if you do a favor for somebody, you give them a lift to the airport or you dog sit for them, they feel very grateful. And you personally, and I personally feel better and have a better sleep that night. And I'm going to uh, ensure that I have a pretty restful one this evening because here's my donation for this year's telethon. Well, Norman, thank you very much. One thousand dollars. Well done. Also, at this time, I'd like to recognize the centers who have helped raise these funds. From Vancouver, we have the Commodore Lanes and Grandview Lanes. From Kamloops, we have Falcon Lanes. From 100 Mile House, Big Country Lanes. From Salmon Arm Lakeside Bowling Center. From Vernon Lincoln Lanes. And from Port Coquitlam Bowl, Port Coquitlam. We also have some individuals who we'd like to recognize at this time. From Lincoln Lanes, Lori Swarworth, who continues to raise funds in memory of her husband, Marvin. From Porco Bowl, Mickey Keeper, and from Commodore Lanes, Irma Hamry, Jerry Fujisawa, and Susan Carl. So Norman, guess how much money we've raised this year? Oh, a little bit more than last year. I hope uh, somewhere between 30 and 40. Pretty close. $35,000. All right. 3,000 more than last year. Great. Wow. So it's your turn now. Please call 310 Kids. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm here with my sister Ashley, representing our family foundation, the W.J. Weaver Foundation, started by our mom and dad as a way to pay it forward and make a difference in our community. Year after year, we are proud to stand behind Variety, the children's charity, and offer financial support. We strongly believe in the life-changing impact Variety has on countless little lives in our province. This year is no different. We are proud to commit $10,000 towards helping BC's kids. We challenge all family foundations to join us. Call 310 Kids now. For children with hearing loss, everyday life can present tremendous challenges. In Canada, six children in every 1,000 experience a hearing loss. That's why Variety funds technologies to help children with hearing loss, children who need support to better experience the world around them. Sometimes we take for granted that we can hear our family, our friends, the noise of traffic, the sounds of the forest. But for kids like Sienna, the world sounds much different. I can hear talking, but it's really muffled so it's not very clear. 11-year-old Sienna was born with a genetic hearing loss, one that is shared with her mother, her father, and one of her brothers, who has also been helped by Variety. So, although her family knew how to adapt to Sienna's hearing loss, Sienna did not. She had to adjust to wearing hearing aids and learn how to be successful in social situations, including the noisy classroom setting of an elementary school. If she's learning a math lesson, you have to first work hard at hearing it, then you have to work hard at understanding it. And if you've got background noise and kids talking, it makes it so much more challenging. New hearing aids funded by Variety, the children's charity, have helped Sienna, as has School District 43, where she attends school. They have supports in place to help Sienna thrive, including a hearing resource teacher and a remote microphone system for the classroom. So the RM system with Sienna's hearing aids work directly, so they go directly to her hearing aids. And so she needed new, uh, new hearing aids, and not only newer technology, but she's gone to a bigger 
type of hearing aid, so a more powerful hearing aid, and that has made a huge difference. I don't see that stress look on her face anymore. The other ones were really fuzzy, and they just were really uncomfortable, but these ones are so even, and yeah, it's very easy, to, and it's very clear to hear the teachers and my friends at the same time. And uh, I don't see an exhausted little girl anymore who is struggling to hear and understand, you know, what's expected of her and what the lessons are. In BC, the Medical Services Plan does not cover hearing aids. Support is available for children under five, but families with older children are left to rely on limited private health care plans, pay for themselves, or seek alternative funding. And with hearing aid prices at around $5,000, costs start to add up, particularly for a family who require multiple sets. We can't afford them and we can't live without them. How, how are we actually supposed to live life? How are we supposed to actually go outside and have a normal childhood? And it should be every child's right to be able to hear in class and to um, be fully included in school. Yeah, I think it's, it's vital that we have these charities to help out because we need someone else to help out if the government isn't, isn't paying for them. Those comments from Sienna's teacher are so accurate. Every child with a disability should have the right to feel included, uh, to feel like they belong. I was bullied at school because I couldn't see properly, and it has been a long road to my recovery, a road that I'm still on. Yeah, well, you know, I, Isaac, I don't know if I ever shared this to you, but I, I was bullied when I was in elementary school as well, and it's really hard to feel as though you're not seen or respected or heard just for being who you are. And every single person who has a disability or not deserves to have the right to feel included in their community. And I just want to say thank you for sharing your personal story and getting vulnerable with us today. But kids and families should know that there's support and there's hope because of what we are doing here today. That's why Variety ensures that kids with complex health care needs uh, and have disabilities have the funding that they need for items such as wheelchairs and hearing aids. And the specialized therapies and counseling that have helped me so much. So please go to variety.bc.ca or call 310 Kids. And help kids just like me. Well, earlier this hour, we heard from Ace and Abby perform, and we are lucky enough to be joined with him right now before his next set. Thank you so much for being with us today. Your music is absolutely beautiful. I'm so, I'm so glad I got to hear you. Um, you've been on tour across BC to sold out audiences right across the province. What's that been like? It's, it's been incredible. Like uh, I'm opening for Alison Russell, and uh, you know she she just won a Grammy. She's from Montreal. She's she's from Vancouver. She did a lot of work on the east side, uh, you know, a lot of frontline work. So to kind of see where she came from and and what she's doing, you know, she's she's like a true authentic artist. So I, I find it really really healing to kind of and nourishing to be on this tour. So. And it's, I know it's really important for you to integrate, you know, your culture and family into your music. Tell me about why family is so important to you. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, I, I put out an album. My debut album was, was based on the stories of my grandfather. And, uh, um, you know, at the time, he was my last kind of direct connection to, to my, my, our heritage, where we come from. And so getting those stories was important just so, you know, if I have... You know, family down the road, I could be like, this is who we are, this is where we came from. So that's that's where that kind of came from. And why is being here today at the Variety Show of Heart Telethon, why is it so important for you to be here, to be sharing your music on this stage in particular? You know, it's it's a, it's a privilege to be able to have the, the ability to contribute to something like that. So I, that's not lost on me. But, you know, I grew up in a, in a home with a single mother who, who you know, had a, had a lot of bills to pay for three kids. So I, I can only imagine how, how those bills stack up when there's other things that need to be considered. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's amazing to be here and, and to, to kind of be a part of the solution. And just a last question, how does, how does um, Vancouver or Musqueam, Tsleil-Waututh and uh, Squamish, Squamish territory compare to, to where you're from in Toronto? 
Um, yeah, yeah, you know, I don't want to say anything bad about Toronto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where I live, but uh, I do, I do love the, the scenery. I love the fresh air. I love the mountains. Uh, and yeah, there's there's an energy here, so I, I, I hope to be back more often. Favorite place in BC so far? Um, you know, I, any any mountains anywhere near the ocean. Good answer. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It's it's again, it's beautiful music, and we're so honored to have you here today. Thank you. Take it away. Across British Columbia right now, children are suffering from the effects of ADHD, anxiety, and other mental health concerns. Variety wants to support these children with counseling sessions and therapies, so please donate to Variety now. Simply go to variety.bc.ca or call 310-KIDS. Thank you. Marco, what a great afternoon so far. It's been incredible. I mean, we're outside here, but look at this. We're in the nature and the community. <laughs> Absolutely. And you have been meeting children all afternoon whose lives have changed thanks to the variety donors. And they represent BC kids who need autism assessments or hearing aids. 
that for kids that live in your neighborhood and your community. And Variety wants to support as many kids as possible. And one way you can ensure your impact lasts all year is by considering monthly giving. Monthly giving can be set up so that withdrawals are made directly from your bank account or through your credit card, meaning it's simple for you. But the impact on these kids are huge. And you're helping these kids, their families, the communities. See how it creates the ripples? It, it happens for real. Absolutely. And, you know, as a monthly donor, you will help provide a reliable foundation of support for kids year round. And it's simple. All you have to do is go online to variety.bc.ca and sign up for monthly giving or ask about it when you call 310 Kids. All right. Thanks, you two. Well, mobility support comes in many forms, not just a wheelchair, an adaptive bike or a walker. It can be anything that helps give a child a gift of freedom or independence. That's right. Buy Low Foods understands that, and that's why they're a proud sponsor of Variety's Mobility Pillar. And we look forward to welcoming them when they join us a little later in the show for their presentation. But first, we want to share Jaden's story with you. His gift of mobility came in the form of AFOS. Am I saying that right? AFOS. AFOS, okay. AFOS. Or they're basically they're ortho orthotics. They're orthotics. Orthotics, yeah. Right. yeah. Jaden almost didn't get the support he desperately needed when his dad was told how much these custom orthotics were going to cost. So unsure of where to turn, Jaden's dad reached out to Variety, the children's charity, who said very simply, we are here to help. I'm Jaden. I'm 11 years old, and um, in my free time, I like to play lacrosse and play video games. <laughs> I've been playing lacrosse for probably like a year now. Watching him practice with his team, you wouldn't be able to tell that while his friends were running around, Jaden actually spent this entire past summer in a series of leg casts made to help stretch out his calf muscles. Well, ever since he was a kid, he walked on his tippy toes, and um, it was just something he did. And with, um, we tried to encourage him his whole life to walk flat. As he got older, it became more of a problem. He, he started getting um, really big um, calf muscles, and everything got really tight. And so they said that if we don't correct it now, it could be catastrophic later for him. So every two weeks, I had to put a new cast on. It would help my feet walk normally again. It's basically the easiest way of putting it. After the casting was done, Jaden was told he would have to wear AFOs 24-7 to hold his feet in place while he walked. The AFOs would prevent him from going back to walking on his tiptoes. I went to this place, Orthodynamics, um, and I went and got the new ones. They molded it to my feet, and as you can see, they're right here. They make different colors too, but I just chose normal black. The AFOs Jaded needed to ensure the cast he spent all summer in would work came with a $4,000 price tag. This was money his family had not planned to spend, but thankfully, Variety, the children's charity, stepped in to give Jaden a helping hand. I felt bad that I couldn't come up with 4,000 right off the bat, and, uh, um, and I was kind of scrambling to try to save, and, um, and so having Variety able to cover the full cost was, was like a huge lifesaver at the time. You can make sure Variety is there to help families when they are in need of a lifeline by making a donation right now. And if you've forgotten the number to call, don't worry. Jade and his friends will remind you. Call 310 Kids! And I'm here with Jaden and his stepmom, Risa. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. I'm good. <laughs> You're good. You're ready for yeah, this, right? I'm ready. Okay. Well, it was really cool to see you playing uh, lacrosse. So we're going to talk about your lacrosse Okay. Hash Hi, Dad. In a sec. Hi, Dad. Um, did you know, Jaden, that you were walking on your like? Did you even notice that you're walking I on your know, toes? I but this uh, it just became muscle memory by that point. Just a bad habit. Right, right, right. Okay, so we saw you changing those casts. Like, what was it? Every two weeks? Um, yeah, every two weeks for maybe six months. I think it was. That must have been kind of annoying. Yeah. Especially since they were very itchy. Very. very. How did you, Very. did you get a knitting needle? Or? Very. That's Itchy. the key. Okay. 
Like you seem really intense about very it. Very itchy. <laughs> okay. Very itchy. To the point where I pulled out all the cotton inside. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pr a bit problematic. But Risa, what was it like? You know, on top of having um, Jaden having to change those casts every two weeks for six months, and then hearing you need to get orthotics, expensive orthotics, on top of that, or Just all that work would Justin. be <laughs> wasted. I mean, it was pretty scary. Um, he's a very athletic kid. Uh, he's very energetic. He loves to be out there playing. And there was a chance that if you know this didn't work or if uh, he couldn't change and have these um, orthotics, that uh, he would be in a wheelchair by 18. And we know that orthotics are not cheap and no. <laughs> not at all. You really like being on TV, hey? Yeah. You might have to get yeah. you back as a as a as a co-host with us oh, next sure. year as well. Sure. So so I'm no. So Risa, how important was it for for you guys to have Variety come in and help and just you know give that little bit of extra support? I mean, extremely. Uh, as they said, it was uh, a little over four grand, um, and that's something that we had to pay up front. There was no um, time frame that we were going to be allowed to have. It was just needs to be done. If it's not done, he's going to be in a wheelchair. And there goes sports. There goes everything that Jaden knew as a life. Yeah. He has a little sister, too. So it was going to be a really big change for our family. And you love lacrosse, clearly. We saw yes. that in the video. Yes. And to think that you, you know, if you didn't get this help, you, as Risa said, you might end up in a wheelchair at the age of 18 and wouldn't be able to play lacrosse the way you've been playing lacrosse. Like, Pretty yeah. scary, hey? I was very relieved considering my dream is to be in the NLL. Warriors? Warriors, I'm available. <laughs> Give me a contract. Wow. Or my uncle. Shout out to him. I love <laughs> your swagger, kid. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so tell us a little bit about how much you love lacrosse. Lacrosse is awesome. More people should know about it, and <laughs> the NLL should be more popular. <laughs> or you could be an NLL ambassador too. Uh, you you have seasons tickets to the Warriors, is that uh, right? Yes, I do. Okay, well, his, uh, his grandmother has them technically, but she takes mm. him almost every week. I'm losing all my cue cards here, but I think we might actually have a little surprise for you from the Warriors. Let's take a look. Hey, Jaden, Keegan Ball here with the Vancouver Warriors. What? We are so excited to host you at one of our upcoming home games. You'll get the chance to sit on our home bench as we warm up and meet all the players and the coaching staff. We're very excited to host you, Jaden. You truly embody what it means to be a warrior. See you soon. Look at this kid's face. Oh my goodness. I wish we could have had a picture in picture <laughs> during that. Oh, that's so exciting, hey? You're gonna sit on the bench with them. What do you say? Thank you, Variety. That's amazing. And Coach Miloski is going to be there. And so you can do your pitch to the coach. You know how you <laughs> said you're available? You can tell them face to face now. Nice. Maybe they'll get you to suit up for them. That'd be awesome. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. All right. Uh, and you know what? Maybe we'll send a camera and get some highlights as well. Sure. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Risa? Just thank you guys so much. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, we uh, are so excited to help you and your family and, and to help more kids like Jaden. And when you donate to Variety, you're going to help families like Jaden and Reese's. So remember to call 310 Kids now. And thanks to the Vanderveld family for uh, doubling our donations this hour. Go to variety.bc.ca. Or do you remember the number, Jaden? 310 kids, call them. I'm sneaking in because it was such a cool moment to was, watch him see that. It was see awesome. his face when oh. it, that was incredible. So cool. Okay, so Chris is here too. <laughs> I think you guys just made his year, let alone maybe even his whole childhood right there. <laughs> that's amazing. I get to, uh, the fact that Keegan Ball even sp spoke to me, that's awesome. Yeah. Said your name. I know. I don't think you've peaked either. I think this is, might be the highlight up to this point, but there's more great things ahead for you. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Jaden. Hope you have a blast at that Warriors game. It's going to be incredible. I'm a little bit jealous. I don't get to sit on the <laughs> bench with you. Yeah. That is going to be awesome. But we have one last favor to ask you before you go. Yes. Can you help us with the 5 o'clock total? We've got a big total amount of money sure. that we've raised so far 
Okay. Let's as long do it. as I can dive in it like Scrooge McDuck, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have a pile of cash here, but we do figuratively have it here. Here it is. Let's see. Oh, what? That's a lot. That is a lot. That's $1.84 million. $1,844,473. I can't do the math in my head, but we're helping. I think that says 738 kids and their families. Including yours, Jaden. <laughs> Thank you once again to the Vanderbilt family. Look at the joy that you have brought this young boy. The Vanderbilt family is matching donations. And thanks so much for Jaden and Risa coming Thank you, Vanderbilt in. family. <laughs> All right, and future lacrosse right? star right here for sure. Yes, sign me and my uncle. <laughs> lacrosse star or broadcaster. He plays for Burnaby. No. Oh, my goodness. Sign him. Future Any variety team. host for sure. Uh, you know, the support we get from all our viewers and Variety's generous corporate partners and donations that have been flooding in over the course of the Show of Hearts campaign means kids just like Jaden will not have to wait for the support they need. And there is still time for you to take advantage of that matching donation. We really want to be able to hit that goal of $2.5 million. So right now, please go online to variety.bc.ca or just call 310-KIDS. We are at 1.84 million now. 2.5 million is the goal. It is within reach. If you are at home right now, uh, make your donation after watching online somewhere. Variety.bc.ca. 310-KIDS. Help kids like Jaden. Hi. <laughs> help me. How or help out more people like me. <laughs> He's the best. We need more Jadens. Give yep. us a call now. Yep, we do. Hello, it's Alvin Law here for one more opportunity from remote Calgary, Alberta to UNBC to ask for your help, for your generosity. You've given so much over all these years. We need your help yet again, one more time, because one thing that never changes are the challenges of having a disability. I should know about that. I was born like this. Can you imagine? Here was me as a baby. Look at that. That's a picture, huh? Yeah, check that out. So how did I go from being a helpless, armless child in 1960 to the successful adult that I am today? Well, I certainly didn't do it by myself. And that's the point. I had support of my family, of my teachers, of my community in rural Saskatchewan. And I'm asking all of you to do the same. You may never meet these families in person. You may have seen them during the show, but you can become part of their community by joining right now to give what you can. Please call 310KIDS or variety.bc.ca and make a generous donation to change the life of a child forever. Thank you. Thank you for donating to the Variety Club. You're helping out kids just like me. Must be on the boat for hope right now. I think she's helping uh, with the pirates. The pirates yeah. Best. Arg. We are down to our <laughs> last 30 minutes of this year's Variety Show of Hearts. And if you haven't had a chance to donate to Variety yet, do it now. Why not? Is it ever the best time? Because right now, the Vanderveld family is generously matching donations up to $300,000 until the end of the telethon today. That means your dollars will have double the impact but only for the next 30 minutes. So visit variety.bc.ca or please call 310KIDS right now. And remember our goal is 2.5 million. You can also text the word KIDS to 45678 for an automatic $25 donation. No matter how much you give, it's the kids in your community who benefit. So please show your heart and donate now. Well, as we mentioned, we only have roughly half an hour left, but before we go, We'll introduce you to Gershon, a young boy with Kabuki syndrome who is learning to find his voice thanks to variety donors. You will see Gloriana's story, a sweet girl from Victoria who's making great progress because of the early intervention she's received thanks to an autism assessment from Variety. Timing is so critical for those things. But first, mm -hmm. let's head down to the rink side again to welcome back Howard Blank, who's with our Safia Pirani. 
thanks you to you know the generosity and the love that has been pouring in all afternoon has been nothing short of phenomenal and most importantly all of you at home have opened your hearts to make a difference in the lives of children who need our support and our hearts are filled with gratitude for each and every one of you who have been part of this magical day folks we're down to our final 30 minutes and it is crunch time. There is still time for you to make an extreme profound difference in the lives of children throughout our province. That's right, and imagine a world where every child in your community has access to the tools and support they need to fulfill their dreams. And that's the reality we're building together, right here, right now. And Sophia, families are requesting support at an unprecedented unpre rate with more and more requests coming in daily. Amid economic hardship and a stressed medical system, please help Variety be there for everyone who needs our support. And, you know, it's very easy to donate. All you have to do is go online to variety.bc.ca or you can call 310 Kids right now and give what you can, knowing that your donation will be matched. And a big, big thank you to everybody who's been supporting this far. You know, Angela, as a father, I know that every child is a miracle, a unique, precious gift, but some kids face challenges that make their journey a little tougher. That's right, and your donation today can make an immeasurable impact. It can fund therapies that unlock hidden talents, provide educational resources tailored to their unique needs, and offer families the support they deserve. Together, we can create a world where every child, regardless of their challenges, has the chance to thrive. And that's why we're asking you to donate to Variety. All you have to do is go to variety.bc.ca or call 310 Kids right now. Together, we can make a difference one donation at a time. And don't forget, that donation is doubled until the end of the telethon, thanks to the Vanderbilt family. So uh, make sure you take the time to take them up on their generous offer. <laughs> Absolutely, thank you so much. Hi there, it's Martin Short and I am asking for your help. Children in BC with complex healthcare needs can't wait any longer for treatments or equipment that they urgently need. Equipment and services that will support them as they develop physically, mentally, and socially. We want your dollars to start working now so that the kids have a chance to thrive. So please, donate to Variety, the children's charity, by going to variety.bc.ca or by calling 310 Kids. Thank you so. How can you say no to Martin Short? Exactly. Like it's impossible. He's the funniest man <laughs> alive. Bar none. All right, I have a, speaking of funny, I have a soon to be teenager. He's 12 years old, loves to laugh, but I can tell you communicating sometimes serious topics is not always easy with a teen or a child. You've got to leave those lines of communication open, mm -hmm. though, to be able to establish communication as a parent. And I'm sure it's very tricky figuring out how to how to do that. Um, be. Sometimes, you know, it's not the easiest to communicate with kids in the first mm -hmm. place. And, and then children with complex health care needs and disabilities sometimes find it difficult to speak or to hear, and that makes communication an even bigger and serious challenge. Yeah, and the challenge can be even more daunting for immigrant families who are new to our society and new to our systems of health. Uh, absolutely. Being an immigrant family in Canada, there's so much you need to navigate. A new language, a new society, it's a whole new world. Mm, but when Gershon was born with complex health care needs, his family found it difficult to know where to find answers when they didn't even know what the problem was. So we had uh, no idea he will walk or not, he will speak or not. So, so many questions, first few years. 10-year-old Gershon is walking and he is talking. He is beating all of the odds. Born with Kabuki syndrome, a rare congenital disorder, Gershon would need all of the support that his family could provide. There are many symptoms of Kabuki syndrome that Gershon is living with, including poor muscle tone, frequent infections, bone abnormalities, and a cleft palate that has made talking very difficult. So the cleft palate changes the structure 
of someone's mouth. So Gershon has a narrow palate, it's um, higher arched, and his mouth overall is a little smaller, so his tongue doesn't have as much room to move around and do its thing. Um, so it makes it a little trickier for him to say certain speech sounds. Maybe five and six will be a match. <laughs> In order for Gershon to thrive in spite of his many challenges, he requires a lot of help in the form of expensive, specialized therapies. Fortunately, Gershon's family found Variety, and through your donations, Variety has been able to support Gershon with physiotherapy to help him with his joints and muscle development, and speech and language therapy to help him communicate. I might. <laughs> Let's find out. Gershon has made incredible progress. We um, focus a lot on his language goals, so his irregular past tense, um, plural nouns are a little tricky for him, and we do some speech sound practice. And now I notice Gershon have more clarity in his speech. Before people, uh, when Gershan talking to someone, people ask me what they say, what they say. Now people understand what Gershan is saying. Mine is a circle top hat. Variety has just opened so many doors for Gershan and his family. Um, he's getting the help he needs to become confident and without having his regular speech sessions, he might not be at the same place he is now. Oh, to Canadian people, Punjabi, South Asian people, so many cats are waiting, families are waiting. Uh, they need uh, speech, therapy, help, physio, wheelchair. So please donate the variety. Well, life has become very expensive. You know, the cost of everything is skyrocketing while wages only marginally increase. That means that life has become more difficult, particularly for families on a fixed income and especially for families of children with complex health care needs and disabilities. Families should not have to decide between paying out of pocket for tutoring sessions so their child can manage their learning disability or putting food on the table. And that's why we want you to consider being a month, doing monthly giving. Your donations will help families in need all year long. Your impact will spread out throughout the year, which is so important for children with ongoing support needs. 310 Kids is the number, or you can go to variety.bc.ca. And remember, donations will be matched until the end of the show, so give now. Thank you so much. All afternoon, all afternoon, we've been hearing from entertainers and performers from across Canada who have been not only been asking for your support, but lending their support for Variety as well. That's right, and the support comes in the form of donations. Donations which will ensure that families have hope that their child will be able to receive the equipment and services that they need. And remember, your donations are being matched until 5.30 today, so please join the names on the screen, join the province, and join our celebrities in supporting Variety, the children's charity. All right, seven-time Juno Award winner Serena Ryder was able to lend her support and perform a little song you may recognize. Here she is with Stompa. This first song is um, a song called uh, Stompa, and it's one that I wrote a couple years ago. It's about the um, medicine of music and how um, it's just something that, you know, there's so much going on in all of our lives, and we all have so many different stories and different places that we come from. But I know um, from my own personal experience that music is one of the greatest healers in the world. And um, that's what it's about. It goes like this. <laughs>
feelings that are breaking little pieces of the music that's in Thank you very much. That is some incredible skill. Amazing performance by Serena Ryder. So glad to have her a part of today. And we are traveling at light speed towards the end of this year's Show of Hearts Telethon. In fact, we've only got about 15 minutes remaining, but we cannot leave without talking to this man before we go. Bupinder Handel, news director and station manager at Global BC. Bupinder, thanks so much for being here. Well, it's an honor to be here, and the reason why we're here is to help so many children and families across this province. There's no greater honor that I can have than being here. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. It's been an incredible relationship between Global BC and Variety. This is the 58th annual Variety Show of Hearts Telethon. I know I've been doing it for 17 years. Yes. You just passed your, what was it? Three. Anniversary, three year anniversary. How long would it go? Yeah, that, it's true. but. Uh, why is the relationship between Global BC and Variety so important? Look, this is almost a six-decade relationship, and it's a critical relationship, and we at Global BC really get up for this. And the reason why is our viewers are incredible. They have been loyal. They have supported us in so many of the things that we do, support you and, uh, and Sophie and, and the rest of our team. But it's really important for us to give at a time when, like, you know, we have great lives. We live privileged lives. We, we you know, our children are healthy. They're living, living a great life. And I think it's important for us to, as a community, to really give back. And that's an important responsibility for us at Global BC. But from an individual perspective, to be able to give, whether it's $28 or $280. I mean, mm -hmm. I know it takes $2,800 to help one kid here today. So if we can just continue to give, no matter what it is, we're going to help so many kids and, mm -hmm. and, and, and just not let them survive, but thrive. But and that's thrive. what we want children to do. That's right. And to flourish. We've set a goal of $2.5 million on this Show of Hearts weekend. That's 900 children that we can support. The Vandeveld family has promised that they will double it up to $300,000. They're ready to go. All we're asking is for you to jump on board. You mentioned the fact that, uh, that uh, the community has been behind us the whole way. Our donors, we know we're there. Bupinder, thanks so much for giving the airtime here for allowing us to do this. Look, it's an honor for us to do it and happy to do it. And again, there are so many children and families who have been helped yeah. in the past 58 years of this relationship. There are so many more who need help. And I encourage everyone who's watching right now, Let's go. We only got a few minutes left here in this telecast. Let's go. Donate variety.bc.ca. 310 Kids. Thanks very much, Bupinder. Hey, how are you tonight? It's George Strombolopoulos here. Thanks for letting me be part of your evening. You know this, that for almost 60 years, Variety has ensured that children in British Columbia have the support they need to not only reach their potential, but also to thrive while doing so. And your donations are so important. They will help Variety cover the cost of things like physiotherapy sessions or hearing aids or wheelchairs, things that are crucial to these kids and the things that they need right now. So if you are able to, please call 310KIDS, 310KIDS, or go to variety.bc.ca to donate and to give hope. Thank you so much. My name is Trevor DeJazo from Bilo Foods. Bilo Foods has a long history with Variety food donations, fun events for the kids, and fundraising through our stores of ways of giving back to the communities we serve. 
This past year, we held two Roundup to the Nearest Dollar events with our customers. Our customers help us raise additional monies through the Innovations Art Easel program, where customers can bid on some wonderful prints each month. And through the support of our suppliers, we raised funds for Variety's Sharing is Caring program, where the proceeds of all its sales are donated to Variety. We thank our team members, our suppliers, and our customers for the year-long support in a year where we exceeded our expectations because of you. With great support, in 2023, we raised $125,000 for Variety BC. There is not much time left, so I encourage all of you to please call 310 Kids now to help Variety change the life of a child with special needs. Thank you, British Columbia. All right, longtime supporters of Variety, the children's charity White Spot is here with us. Bill Sangara, Kathy Tostenson, uh, Ari, Chloe, and Kendra, and executive chef James Kennedy, thank you so much for taking care of us for so many years and feeding us. I'm hungry again, just like thinking about it. You've got a little check for us. We do indeed, yes. actually a big check. A big check and so proud. Nat Bailey started the tradition of giving back. He was passionate about giving back to children and families in British Columbia. 96 years later, we're so proud to carry that tradition on. And on behalf of our 55 restaurants, we have a donation to make. Uh, $62,946, amazing. Thank you so much. How do you, what do you do to raise the money? Well, we have 55 restaurants and we all band together and you know, thank you to all of our franchisees and our operators and our suppliers and we ran a burger promotion and this is what we generated for a variety. I mean, your burgers do bring them in. So Bill, t talk to us about why White Spot has such a close relationship with variety because I know it's not just, you know, White Spot, but you're also very closely involved. Yes, uh, I actually sit on the board at Variety and uh, have been for a number of years now. And White Spot's always been uh, part of Variety. Uh, we're one of the original partners of Variety. So this is actually our 58th telethon as well. Oh, really? So uh, proud Incredible. to be here. And uh, we're all proud to represent White Spot as far as being here as well. Thank you so much, you guys. And thank you for the almost $63,000 donation. I know you'll be back year after year. And again, thank you for the triple O. We love it. All right, let's head out to Angela and Marco. Well, Marco, I've loved spending my time here this afternoon with you, awesome. with the entire team, yeah. uh, learning about variety and the kids and families from across the province whose lives are a little better, a little brighter because of the support they've received from variety donors. Me too, Angela. Face it, kids are our future, right? And they're the ones that are going to be able to shape the world that we live in tomorrow. And it's up to you to give them the best shot to do that. That's right, and the clock is ticking down, but there is still time for you to have your donation matched at variety.bc.ca or when you call 310KIDS, your gift will go twice as far thanks to the Vandervelt family. Variety even has a wonderful incentive to give generously. When you donate $169 or more, you'll be able to see your very own poster of the Robert Bateman's Northern Reflections Loon family. You heard the sound right there. And my suit even matches the colors in it. It was meant to be, everybody. Plus, any new monthly donors, as well as anyone who contributes $35 or more per month, are also eligible to receive this poster, which... Look, look how well this matches. It's meant to be, it's meant it's to be. It's beautiful. Together, <laughs> let's build a reality where every child is cherished, protected, and empowered to reach their full potential. Thank you, everyone, from the bottom of my heart. Folks, this is it. We're drawing to a close of this year's Show of Hearts Telethon, but there's still time to make a difference in ch children's lives. You have that power. Listen, one simple donation can have such a tremendous impact, and that impact will be doubled. When you donate now, please, the donation will be matched by the wonderful Vanderville family. The stories you've seen here are just a small slice of the incredible work that Variety does. And with your donation, so many more kids can be helped. So thank you, British Columbia. Pick up the phone, 310-KIDS, 310-KIDS now. Howard, thanks very much. Now, last year, Variety was able to grant over 750 autism and psychoed assessments to children who desperately needed help, kids who otherwise would have been on wait lists during key developmental years without assistance. Getting that early assessment is so vital. Those assessments unlock critical government funding for essential therapies and other resources. And one of these children, Variety Health, was Gloriana from Vancouver Island. 
early intervention has been crucial to her development, and she's already come a long way since she received her supports. We didn't have much hope or know how to hope in the beginning, but right now, with all the therapy and all the improvement we've seen, we have high hopes. Yeah. Born happy and healthy, Gloriana's parents started to notice she wasn't hitting her milestones just after she turned one. We weren't thinking about autism when it was going on. Yeah. We were thinking that she was just delayed. We couldn't get her to look at us in the beginning. Like, yeah. you'd be looking at her and she'd look everywhere else but you. Mm -hmm. That's what really got us scared. Gloriana was referred to a pediatrician who gave the family two options. Wait two to three years for an autism assessment through the public health system, or pay thousands of dollars and get an assessment done privately. So we were kind of at an impasse. We didn't know what to do. We just knew it was a rush. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried to find other cash work immediately, try to save up every dime that I could, but it was pretty hard during COVID times to even find that extra little work available. Gloriana's mom, Vanessa, learned Variety, the children's charity, was providing autism assessment grants to cover the cost of those expensive private assessments. The family applied and Gloriana completed her assessment, allowing her to receive the early intervention that is so crucial to her development. Felt to me, it was like, oh my God, it was an angel sent. It was just a, a huge relief. It, yeah, we're just grateful. Variety has a massive effect on families like Gloriana's. It's, it's huge, the doors that have been opened to her and her family to be able to seek services like behavior consultants. Um, she has a registered behavior technician on her team, which is made possible by her having that assessment done and that autism funding. Um, when she goes into the school system, she's already going to have the ability to have an EA or um, an inclusion support team already. She's not going to be trying to seek those services out once she's in there because they're already going to be put in place for her. Early intervention is key to her success. Mm -hmm. um, without it, she would still be on the waiting list. None of this would have happened. All of mm -hmm. these improvements, all the tools that we've learned on how to parent her, we wouldn't know yet. But now, like bringing her to the center here today, she, uh, four months ago, she would have come in here kicking and screaming. We would yeah, not have so happened. Mm -hmm. Now she's in here laughing, playing, running around like a free spirit. She feels comfortable now. Mm -hmm. So we, like, we don't want to think where we'd be right now without that. an incredible journey we have been on together throughout this afternoon. The stories we've shared, the talents we've been showcasing, all to support one cause, and that is to give to Variety, the children's charity. What a beautiful setting we've been in too down here at the shipyards. The generosity and the love that is poured in have been nothing short of phenomenal. It's really buzzing with excitement here as we get close to that final total. And we want you to know that our hearts are filled with gratitude for each and every one of you who's played a real integral part in this magical day. And I think the magic is going to continue. It's time to see what we've all been working toward today. Yeah, the moment we've all been waiting for, the total of this year's Show of Hearts campaign. Are we ready? You guys ready? Okay, together we have raised an astounding, let's see, $2.2 million, $2 million, $242,000. Incredible. Thank you for your generous support from across the province. This will allow Variety to say yes to 801 kids and their families who are waiting for support today. Isaac, you were one of our hosts today. How do you feel about that number? It's amazing. <laughs> and are you going to come back next year? Yeah, I hope so. All right, we'll be happy to have you back. A heartfelt thank you to Isaac, to all the others who have been co-hosting for us, and to everyone who contributed today. This total is not just a number. It's a testament to the incredible impact we can achieve when we all come together on behalf of all the little hearts you've touched today. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you very much for being true heroes of today and on behalf of the families you've given hope to and the dreams that you've made possible, 
thank you. Now, it's not too late to give, and your donation will continue to be matched. So we know we can hit 2.5 million by the news hour on Monday. That's right, 310 kids, or go to variety.bc.ca, and we're gonna hit that milestone. From all of us here at the shipyards, from the staff at Global BC, from the volunteers who helped put this whole thing on, thank you to one and all for making a huge difference in the lives of so many children. Good night, everyone. Good night, all. Oh, that's a good question. Brett wanted us to do it like it's an up on, out so of a break. So it's back to you kind of thing. Yeah. Or should we should we check? It'd be nice to add the personal touch of. Uh, oh, are you gonna do it? Okay, yeah. Okay, sure. There's someone probably in the control room right now. We're just trying to figure out who's anchoring the show back there tonight. We think it's Travis Prasad, but. We're gonna get that confirmed. And do you know how long they want this to be? Uh, I think he said a minute and a half. Okay. 90 seconds, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't have my work phone here, so I can't. Yeah, I that's okay, on. mine's over there somewhere. Actually, mine's been dead for a week. <laughs> it's Travis, okay. 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 Do, you, do you wanna start? Oh, yeah, why don't I start? I'll st tell me when, you wanna count me in? Thank you. Oh, okay. yeah, okay, no worries. Right. <laughs> Everyone smile. Here we go. Okay, just before we toss it back to Travis and the Weekend News Hour, we've got to celebrate a little bit what happened here on the Show of Hearts Telethon. It's been an amazing fundraiser for Variety, the children's charity, and we have you at home to thank for helping us hit an incredible fundraising milestone. And the total is, because we're still counting, more than $2.2 million. And you know what that is when you do the math, let me do the math really quickly, $2,800 <laughs> per kid. Uh, it's 801 kids that we can help through all of the efforts uh, of everyone here today and everyone who donated. So thank you so much. And we're so thankful to the contributions or for the contributions of the families and the kids who shared their stories with us. It's those really impactful moments like when Jaden found out he was gonna be hanging out with the Warriors lacrosse team or yeah. Barbara found out she was hanging out with the Boat for Hope Pirates. Amazing uh, memories for those kids and just an amazing uh, push to give donations to Variety, and that money is gonna do a lot of good. And I gotta tell you, this location has been great here at the shipyards in the city yeah. of North Vancouver. Uh, this team has been incredible, some new faces, some returning faces, uh, but you know, 58th annual show of Horace Telethon, and uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a great day. It has been an amazing day. Thanks, Howard, thanks, Angela. Thanks, Safia. Thanks, everybody from White Spot. Marco, Isaac, you guys have been fantastic. Thanks, everybody who gave. Now back to Travis. I'm happy with that. Yeah, did you get your photo? Uh, okay, great.